Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, your great beer friends and lovers of freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the all species of Radio Biafra London. Today is the third day, the third day of April in the year of our Lord 2022. We are here live and direct in this hallowed platform and I enjoin you to bring your friends and well wishes, even your foes, your enemies. Please do not deny them this hallowed or listening to this hallowed platform because this is where we dispense the truth. This is the voice of the voiceless, the voice of freedom, the voice of liberty. This hallowed platform is being instituted in defense of freedom and liberty. That is what we represent here. That is what this hallowed platform represents. We are apolitical here. Therefore, today, as you may know, is an interactive session with one of the members of the Directorate of the States, Directorate of States of the Indigenous People of Biafra, Mazichina Samoru. But before I come to him, let us pray. Chukwo kiabi amapuri menyeni le ayagwa kogono bochi keta. Iji we kuoku we zioziyo ma zioziyo ma chineke. Kihere me ndiojo, the God of our ancestors. Today is another day. And as long as we are alive, we shall continue preaching this gospel. Our leader is your servant. You sent him, not we. Therefore, we are not worried of anything. Because we know that his being there is part of the process. But he must be released. And released soonest. All the hands that rose against him, against indigenous people of Biafra, those that wants to use this our movement as a franchise in order to make money, in order to make contact, in order to get political positions, they with them decisively give us the power, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the way with them as human beings in order to continue what we are doing and at the end Biafra we shall restore thank you Chiko Kiabiyama for in your name we pray he say he say he say once again I welcome each and every one of you to welcome your friends onto this hallowed platform today is the third day of April being Sunday 2022 Without wasting or taking any much time, I will bring in my guest today. Marzi, please, over to you, introduce yourself before we go. Marzi, over to you. Marzi, Jonathan, good evening. Can you hear me very well? The whole world is hearing you crystal clear, not only me. Go on, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, good evening, dear friends, and good evening, lovers of freedom. Um, my name is Mazi China Samwaru. Mazi China Samwaru is serving the indigenous people of Biafra in the IPOB Directorate of State. This evening, it's been a while. Um, I haven't come on air. But this evening, because anytime we are coming out on air, or any member of the DOS, because we have people who are closing a lot of gaps on the radio and on the social media, we have people who are doing an excellent job. So for us coming on air on a daily basis or um, in two days or three days interval, it's not that easy because of a lot of work in the hands of the IPOB leadership. 
But this evening, I'm coming to you because there is a need to come on air. There is a need to come and clarify certain things. There is a need to come and educate our people on what is happening. There is a need to inform our people. We do not blackmail people. We do not come on radio to speak. This is a hallowed platform. We do not come here to play pranks on the life of our people. We are here to tell you nothing but the truth. Sometimes some people don't like the truth to be, you know, made public. But it is the duty of the leadership of this movement that any time we need to address the public, any time we need to speak to our people, we must come out openly because we believe when they are well informed, they will understand the direction of this movement. When they are well informed, they will understand which way we are heading. They will understand that we have come with clean hands. Like I said before, this movement, anything we do, we learn it from our leader, Mazen Namdekano. Coupled with the knowledge Chukwok Kadama have given to us also. And we will continue to come here to speak the truth. We will continue to come here to direct our people. We will continue to come here to educate our people until Biafra is restored. We are not here to play. We are not doing entertaining business. We are not looking for somebody who will come to this radio so that we can get paid. We are not controlling any super chat for people to come in so that we can get money on YouTube. This is a selfless sacrifice. We are not being paid for what we are doing. We volunteer ourselves to make sure that we restore the kingdom of Chukwokikadiyama on earth, which is Biafra. Most of us who are here today, we are not new in this movement, but maybe we didn't come out all this way. Because I know, had it been we on social media ranting on a daily basis, some of you maybe will be singing praises for us. The only praise somebody like me wants is only when Biafra is restored. Without restoring Biafra, without maintaining this struggle to make sure that we restore what we are fighting for, all the praises are nothing. I can only feel fulfilled if at the end of this journey Biafra is restored. Without restoring Biafra, the praises are nothing. Without restoring Biafra, we don't deserve any glory. Without restoring Biafra, we don't deserve even any pleasure, any luxury life. We don't deserve it. Because we know we have brought millions of people out. And Chukoki Kadiyama knows that we have come to restore Biafra. We have not come to play. We have not come to make caricature. We have not come to play politics. We have not come to uh, do saga. We have come for the restoration of Biafra. And for that reason, this evening, for those of you who have questions, not those who rant, on the social media and when I come on air expecting them to come on here to bring up that their questions they cannot come so we expect you I am here this evening and the things you don't know you will know them today the ones you need to know you will know them today like I said this movement is full of mysteries and it is guided very very well there is nobody born of a man or a woman that can destroy this movement those who have tried in this couple of months back they can tell you their story some are already getting mad they can tell you we do not need to come here to rant but if you say 
that you are the one who want to destroy this movement you will get it hot from us not today not tomorrow anytime any day you come on the ground you want to destroy the life of our people we will tell you we are ipo we will tell you that this is a monster ipob is a monster if you come across our way we will swallow you we don't need to run some of them will testify some of them people glorify them for what they are not capable of but they just try in their gods but i'm very very happy that the ipob members with the esn on ground any move they make we watch them any step they take we watch them and when the time is right everybody gets his own share you cannot destroy this movement you cannot destroy this movement and that is one thing i want to say and this evening i'm going to explain to their friends things that you need to know how they want to destroy this movement and the how IPOB and the ESN have worked so far to bridge those gaps to 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 keep many of them you know on check to make sure that this global movement remains intact this is IPOB we don't fear anybody no matter our age no matter who you are as long as we have the truth in our mouth we can confront anybody anytime any day we know what we are into it is a fight between life and death and do not if you are an ipub member do not allow enemies to get you down we are in charge both in physical and in the spiritual world thank you Mazichinedu. thank you so much um we shall go straight to the business of the day because in no distant time i will open the line so that our people will start calling but before that um let's i want you to talk about the insecurity that is in our land and let me start by the general war i call it war that is going out on in nigeria both in the north mostly in the north i should say uh we have about we saw the trend bombing which they are massaging politically bandits uh, according to the military spokesperson the official version uh, not even spokesperson only lucky rabo he said that these are gangs uh, criminals criminal gangs that led a uh, IED just to attack and rob uh, this and that the way they played down it to the extent that you know according to the confession of uh, the obi of furniture he said he should be the he should have been become one of the victims what saved him is a phone call because he was at the train station ready to board before a phone call to him that he sh it's an emergency and that's why he can he he just get out of the train station just minutes before departure so we see how people are being slaughtered we saw how our our people even in the north they slaughter they kidnap and kill without not even money they don't ask of money and our people are still you know strong-headedly doing their businesses over there okay. Okay, okay now what do you talk about the insecurity in biafra land let me start with that insecurity the things that are going on the kidnappings the killings that are going on in our land please what is your general perception on what you have to say about it thank you so much um like you said, um, I, I am so much interested with the one of in Biafra land. Um, I am so much interested with the one of in Biafra land. That is where our um, my concern is. 
the insecurity in Biafra land is not that we will say um, Biafra land, there were time Biafra land is known as one of the most peaceful region in that contraption called Nigeria. Everybody can agree with me that, with that. Even there was, I think, an article by UN some some years back that they say the southeast is the most peaceful region in Nigeria. But there is a report we found out today, what was yesterday, it was released by a human rights group. They see the they call themselves the CDD, something of that nature, and they were talking about that. The insecurity in the southeast is fueled by Nigerian military because of the killing of IPOB members. They are the ones who are causing the insecurity in our land. If you can agree with me, in 2015, from 2015 December 2016 December, when they started the launch their first Operation Python dance, from that time till this moment. They have been swelling insecurity in the southeast. But I will zero it down to this present time. The level of insecurity we found between Imo State and Anambra. This is where the insecurity is very, very high. One of the things that have contributed this, we must tell ourselves the truth. Yes, um, in, 2000 and, uh, in 2019, uh, 2020, 20, 2020 or 21, when there was a prison break in Imo State, like 1,800 people escaped from that jail. Many of them were arm robbers. Many were um, kidnappers. Most of them were serving a lot of jail sentences. When they all ran away, some of them ran far beyond this area. But there are some of them who remain in this area, in this axis. Some of them are also political talks. They were being used before by politicians and they, they were in the jail. Because the politicians, most times when they use certain people, at the end of the day, they put them in jail. Now, from that moment, they were all like a, a, a sleeping cell waiting because the government knows what he's doing. For example, we know Hopos of the man. We know that none of his opposition, like he was claiming, was really disturbing him because his main opposition was uh, was uh, um, Ihedion. But one thing is that Hopos of the man came because he was part of the people who conspired, who paid. After all, two weeks after the um, uh, rendition of Mazen Namdekano, the first one week, they were celebrating in Imo government house, the rendition of Mazen Namdekano. They were drinking champagne, they were celebrating, they were mentioning those who participated in the rendition of Mazen Namdekano. And we know some names they called in that particular um, Ikonso house. Because the purpose of them normally have meeting on every two, two weeks. So that particular week only do was rendition was the time Hopo Zodema was having there were some meetings they were having and there they were saying it openly those who participated in the rendition of Mazen Nam the canon. From that time their their aim and their target was Mazen Nam the canon is now in the hands of the zoo military. The next thing is to unleash terror on IPOB members. Unleash terror on the people because one thing would help uh, Devo Mahi on the other hand was arresting some IPOB members before even the rendition of Onyendo. They know because they were keeping many of them that they are going to use them as uh, witnesses who will give testimonies against Mazen Nam the Kano. There are people who oppose them are arrested. They are still being in detention. If they are still alive, they, that's why you heard last time they said this guy was. Um, Labaru was bringing tape of evidence, voice notes, voice messages. People, they distracted information from them through torture, through everything, trying to come and play them in the court. That's why they are holding many people. They feel from the information they gave them, they can use it to, um, um, to, to, to,
ready to present them as evidence in the court. Now, along the line, they have already paid many agents. They have paid people to infiltrate ITOB. They have paid people. But one thing is this. They were working many proxies and they have different agendas. Like some people were just being used. It's not that they have the power people are thinking they have or they can do anything. They were just being used to say, talk. We are, but they don't know the people they are using to cause insecurity in the land are manipulating them. Now, when all these things are happening, it created because they want to create an atmosphere of insecurity. Kill them, do them this, do them that, thinking that that will scare IPOB away. But that did not scare IPOB away. Instead, we we rise up to the challenge, trying to control the situation, trying to confront the ones we can. But along the line, we realize that many of these infiltrators in IPOB, they were also being used heavily to cause insecurity. Because number one, when they could not lay their hands on the IPOB ESN commanders, we know our commanders. The ESN commanders are all intact. Apart from one who messed up and the HOD came on air and they expelled him from, 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 from after a, a conclusion were made on his behaviors and his, his activities. He was expelled from IPOB from the ESN. Now, what these infiltrators did was anybody they hear that claim they are ESN, they ran to them. Both the criminals, uh, both kidnappers, both all kind of people because they want to show people that they are, they, they, we are in charge of ESN. We are in charge of ESN. We have all the ESN commanders. They do, they, they do have meetings from time to time. People are all intact. But along the line, there are people they try to buy over with money. And they asked those people, they told them, try to take over the ESN camp, kill the commanders. It happened. They asked them to kill our commanders. And they, on the process, those people, they were using them to commit crimes. They were stealing, they were kidnapping people. And they are not even ESN members. They are not IPOB. But now they told them, if you remember, there was a time I came on radio, I told you, this Omoandaka in America, they sent somebody from a Boni state to Bayasa state. When the guy went there to recruit people, he told them he's coming under the instruction of China Samoro. And I don't know who the person the hell is. But fortunately, the man captured him and they put a call on to through through the command and we told them we don't i don't know who is this the person quickly told no he told them this is the person who sent them he called this omadaka in america this is so this Oyibo and this eloha he mentioned them he put them on telephone they, he said they tell them that they should use my name to recruit them i said i never send anybody this is when they started that was when you see them ranting all the camps, criminality in Anambara and the Imo state, these people were fooling them. Like I have said here before, they used the IPOB fund. The money people, that is why sometimes I cried in my heart that our people are so gullible that people are donating money to people that are calling for fundraising. And the money is being used to kill our own people, to kidnap our own people. And they come on air, they are shouting, they are doing this. If you could remember, on 14 December, I came up here, I called names. That is after, we don't call people names just to call names. This is after thorough investigation. We follow them, the IPOB intelligence unit, follow everything happening in that place. And I can tell you something. We have one ESN commander who was following them in Imo State. He's one of our commander in also. He found out 
some of them that their names were mentioned there is somebody a man i don't want to call his name hope Ozodema is the one he pays this money every sunday every sunday the man goes to collect the fund he distributes that's why you see every monday there is there is always an attack within that area every sunday the man goes to collect the money and there are these criminals there is the one i call his name the other time number one sky catchy all this and all job though some of them we don't know where they are some of them also we hear they are gone they were the ones they go they collect the money they were being paid and when they are being paid they are the one they are showing them direction if you go this is esm people they may be lodging here these are the homes of esm people that is why you see the houses of people being bombed you see they were they, they, along the line they found out this our commander was working intelligent was coming inside the place and identifying them they went and pick up that commander not only and killed him I'm telling you what they did. They pick up that ESN commander because he realized the crime they are doing and they went and they killed him. After he have given all the report. Now we know we were certain of those people who were criminals. Because in ESN, number one, if you are an ESN member, you must be part of an IPOB family. We recruit from the grassroots. Ask every IPOB member in your region, all these people we are calling their names, ask them, is this an IPOB member? It's a very simple thing for somebody to know. These people we call their names, were they IPOB members? Because you must belong to a family. Because we need to know you. Now, this is how they were, there were cannibalism when we found out they were, you know, every day there is kidnapping, snatching of cars, they, they were doing horrible things. There are the ones I mentioned his name on air, they will take people's car, they will dismantle the car, they will sell them because these people told them, do just cause havoc in the land so that IPOB if you found out the moment our leader has been renditioned every press release coming from the police coming from the Anambra, um, Anambra police or the military every newspaper this thing anywhere anything happens if a house got bombed they say IPOB ESA IPOB ESA because that is when they want to bring every criminality that is happening in this axis on the name of IPO. But along the line, when the name calling becomes too much, the ESN have to go into action by themselves. Because at the initial time, ESN do not want to get involved with criminals. It is the work of the Nigerian government or their security stakeholders that are supposed to handle this. ESN is specifically to kick the Fulani Hesmen out from our forest. But when it gets to the point that every day it is IPOB ESN, ESN now decided to checkmate these criminals. Mazi Jonathan, if you can, if you follow me on Facebook, you will find out that like one week ago, I, 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 I came on my Facebook timeline, I said, the ESM have rescued some innocent their friends and they rescue them and set them free. If you were following, if you are following me on that, why I made that post was when we rescued because there were people we rescued from the hands of this criminal, and then when we rescued them, we refused to reveal any video evidence anything because we are waiting to understand the infiltrators to make their move we want them to we want to hear what they will say because we know what they are doing those people are supposed to thank god because had it been the military made them in that criminal hideout and you understand me they will kill all of them and they will classify all of them as ESS. 
after they have come out they started shouting they're trying to because they know their camp that esn invaded that camp we rescue people they are holding people they just i posted the video there they holding a pastor a pastor that have a problem with his girlfriend a guy that is having a fa everything is all on the family issues even old men. this was the thing even old men they told them cost they gave they you know as an onion naya dineroshi ne a joke wa they gave them free access because all their plan is destroy ipo now they have to thank ipo esn because esn rescued these people more than 30 or 40 people forget about the this thing you saw there there are people they are holding for three months there are people they have killed and it, every time you know when they say these things we take it as an obligation because every day they say esn 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 we didn't want to get involved because that is not the main work of esn but along the line we said no every day esn every day ipod what we do not do and when we make a move if you ask many people ESN have rescued many vehicles that were stolen by these people. People who ESN rescued their cars, they know what I'm saying. Even in nothing. In nothing, ESN have rescued his cars, his trucks. There are many people that ESN have rescued them. You saw there is a video I also made this evening. There was a man that was caught. He set somebody's house on fire. He set a very big house on fire. And when ESN later caught him, because they go under investigation, try to understand what happened. I posted it on my Facebook this evening. He said that he was in the dream. You know, when somebody say in the dream, he saw something, connect her to Eloha. You know, those people that when they blackmail you finish, they say they saw it in the dream. You know, everything they were saying, when you ask them for evidence, they tell you they, they, saw, they saw it in the dream. God told them. You know, this guy say he was in the dream. The video is out there that he was in the dream somebody he saw the man him two of them was dragging land in the dream as they were dragging land on the process he wake up he don't know what entered his head he go and buy petrol and jump his fence and go and set his house on fire and everybody say it is esn it is ipo be doing those the video is there all these things just to give ipo be a bad name so that people will not they will say Mazin Namdekano is causing problem. That's why every time they're using the name of IPOB, it is your people causing this havoc. You know, this brings us to sit at home. Why we say that we we suspended the sit at home? Because when this issue, but if you want to stay at home, it is up to you. But our problem is this. The person we are doing the sit at home have on many occasions told us to stop because of the crime people are committing every monday because of the sit at home every monday you found out that people's proper that is the date the criminality used to be very high every monday the people use the opportunity go out there seize people bikes kill people and uh, 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 hijack cars go to the filling station to buy fuel with that because they know that everywhere is quiet if you found out every sunday monday morning the military is always present they know criminals are also taking advantage because they want it they want to use that opportunity because you are giving them a free hand now we tell our people we have suspended it we have suspended the seat at home because we found out people, criminals are now using it. And politicians who want to cause more insecurity in the Southeast, in the Afro land. Let me tell you, many people sometimes go to the market on Monday. 
But the, the market leaders are not coming because they are being instructed by the governors. I am telling you, most of the governors instruct the market leaders who are holding the key to the market not to go because they, that is the day they want to push military to start attacking people, killing and capture people because they took money that for insecurity in the South. You know it's now turning to a business. Like hopefuls of them have turned insecurity to a business. You heard how much they said um, uh, William they are not took for complete eight years. You hear the amount of money they say they took for security vote. Hopus of them, all the money hopus of them is bringing is that there is insecurity, there is insecurity, there is insecurity. He has to cause more insecurity in the state. He has no opposition is disturbing him. He heard your eyes not disturbing him for anything. Nobody is disturbing him. But the mice causing the problem, he worked with all kind of people to cause problem in this state. They bring missionaries, they bring all kind of people into the state within that geographical space. All criminals. And they give them all the free hand. If you connect all of them, they, all these criminals also connected in a bubago. It's a bubago. Some of them also follow the bubago to come to oppression. Do you know it has got to the extent? Even if you tell them that you are an IPOB member, because they will tell you we are ESF, then you say, I'm IPOB. We have many evidence. Most of our people who travel abroad came back home. When they arrest them, they say, I am IPOB. It is that time they will deal with you. That is the time they will deal with you. They may take everything you have. They will ask money for you that you... Because they, they may not kill you because they are afraid that IPOB will come after them. ESM will come after them. But they will like to steal from you, rob you. Sometimes they leave you. We have people who have come down from America. And I'm using this opportunity to tell our people in America, if you are coming home, please keep it to yourself. I don't know the problem. Some of you coming from America, like people are tipping some criminals off at home. When you come home, most of you are being attacked. They've been passed information from America. So if you are coming, try to be very, very careful. We have many reports of people who came back from America, especially in Imo State. They are being attacked. They are being pursued around. They are being asked to give money. They are being blackmailed to if they don't bring money that they are working with uh, the government, they are coming with escort, they are doing this thing, they must pay them money. All these things is the problem. There are many factors that have created insecurity in this particular region. But since the our names are being mentioned in one way or the other. We have taken that responsibility. And I can tell you, and those, if you have watched the security situation between Imo and Anambra, the tension is going down apart from this military they are coming. The crime that you are witnessing between Osumo Vihiala, the crime is going down because ESM have taken charge. We have told them we have passed our message the way if you are into criminality in this axis, you are committing crimes in the name of IPOB ESN. The time for mercy is over. We don't mercy for anybody any longer. Because we know all you are doing and the many of them are being sponsored by the government. Especially Hope was the man. He used people all those criminals, they are the ones. Every, that is why every Monday, everywhere is hot. And we tell our people, leave on Mondays, go back to your businesses. If you decide to be at home, but put in your mind, they have captured that moment to be the time they can patrol around, pursue you around, try to kill you. You are sitting at home, is it? But if IPOB says sit at home, none of them can patrol like this to come and find you. That's why they are indirectly enforcing it. You see how they are patrolling with military vehicles on Mondays in your areas. But if there is a business moving on, they won't be doing that. Because we have given them that plain, plain ground. Criminals will come out, that is the day they will want to go to kidnap somebody at home. Maybe they thought you came, you came home on the weekend. The 
they want to kidnap you on that Sunday night or Monday. Or they want to kidnap you on Monday. The insecurity we are talking about, I will post it after here. I think everybody have it. Couple of weeks back, or that was last month, early last month, the HOD came here, announced some people in Anambara, they were expelled from IPOD. From the ESN command. They were expelled. Expelled not to be back. You don't expel people like that. We can only expel people if they are engaging in criminal activities. We found out that they have been infiltrated. They, they, uh, the infiltrators managed to pay them money and ask them to eliminate our ESN commanders. You found out the other day one of these Eloha was shouting. He's shouting some people's name. Where are they? These are people that already expelled the IPOD at ESN. This, we, we expelled them because they wanted to murder our commanders. We expelled them. And for you to know, she's getting crazy. Where somebody they send have an opportunity to raise a dagger on the back of our commander. And the people want us to stand around. We are going to deal with them. We will show them that IPOB and ESN controls Biafra land. Not today, not tomorrow. There is nobody who will try to destroy this movement. We are not talking, we are not boasting. People on the street, they play, they show. If they think they can come inside ESN to destroy that movement, to give it a bad name. This night, I am going to mention some people's name also. Because those ones, we are giving them from now till two weeks. They must leave the area. If you don't leave, we will deal with you. Nobody can stop it. You cannot use the name of IPO. If you go to our mama, there are some youth blocking the road. Instead for them to go and walk, they are extorting people money. And the people are saying, they, they are claiming their ESN. In two weeks time, if, in, in a few days to come, if we see anybody using ESN, they commit all kind of crimes. They use them, tell them to do it. Everyday newspaper, IPO, the ESN, IPO, the ESN. These are people we are fighting for freedom. But I can tell them and I can show them as long as some of us in this movement are alive, as long as Mazen Nandekano handed over this movement until he comes out, we will do everything in our power. The IPOB leadership and the ESN command will do everything in their power to deal with anybody trying to tarnish the image of IPOB and ESN. You can blab after. You can cry a river after, but if you love yourself, keep away from IPOB and ESN activities. If, if you are a criminal and you think you can come in to destroy all we have done, Mazen Namdekano for 20 years has built this movement, has been in this struggle for the restoration of Biafra for 20 years some of us are in for 10 years or 11 years and you think you can come in destroy this movement I can bet you you are just a dreamer Amube you go, you gather people you pay them money, you tell them go out and destroy people's property kill the people, take their cars and they are all doing it. You told them it, they, 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 they are ESN. You told them you are ESN. I'm, I'm, your, I'm your commander. You think this is how we work? We know every member of ESN. We know everybody. Only one telephone. We know you. If you are not ESN, only one telephone call. We know who you are. Anybody who claims to be ESN, one telephone call, we know who you are. We know where you are coming from. We know where you belong. 
don't think because you hear ESM, when you see them in, in that thousands, you think we, don't, we have record. We know everybody. We are not saying we are perfect because we are dealing with humans. But in discipline is what we are not going to tolerate. We want people to be disciplined. If you were in ESM, along the line, you have a, 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 a contact with infiltrators. And you want to bring that idea inside the camp of ESM, you will be crushed. I'm just telling you now, so that you can pack your bag this night and leave. Because, because when we even imagine, think about it, that you are close to us to champion their destiny, you, you count yourself off. So for them coming to rant, for the press release, HOD release the, the other time, can show you the people that we expel are all their people they are using to cause half of them. And I can promise dear friends, with the help of Chukoki Kadiyama, with the help of all of you, all the media warriors, all of you doing a great job out there, we must continue to educate our people. We must continue to tell our people exactly what is happening in our land. Because if you don't tell them the truth, we cannot be able to solve the problem. We must inform our people. In any community, some group of people come in and tell you they are ESN, this is Radio Diatra. You can report them. If they are ESN, we will inform you they are ESN. If they are not ESN, we will tell you to chase them away. If you cannot chase them away, if they are committing crime, because our name is at stake, we will make sure that they won't do those things again in the name of IPO. In any name they want to do it, let them move on. And finally, on this issue, also the court group. All those small boys that call themselves cult. My message to them is that leave your cultism and join your brothers to fight for your freedom. We know most of you are in the court because of the failed society. We know because of insecurity, most of you join courts because you have nobody who will speak for you. You needed a group. You needed people that when you are being beaten, when you are being humiliated, somebody can support you because nobody supports anyone. But IPOD is here. I'm using this opportunity. We know the, the politicians are using you people indirectly to tell you to fight against IPOD members. But this evening, I'm telling you something. We have not come to fight the cult people. But it doesn't mean that if you are being used to commit crimes, that we are going to spare you. We won't spare you. But what I'm telling you people is that it is better that knowledge you have we need it to fight the full and men in the forest. They are coming. Don't think it is over. The full and terrorists are coming. Maze, there are a group of military they are bringing in our land. They have lost their mouth. I heard this story. I was not born during the Biafran War, but I hear that people, there were soldiers at that time also, who were, whose mouth were being padlocked. The same group of people now are being drafted in evil states. Their mouth are being padlocked because they don't want you, they don't want them to speak. Because in a battle like this, when they speak, people hear their accent, people hear them. We know they are missionaries, they are foreign missionaries. That's why they want their mouth to be locked. So they won't by any mistake raise their voice. You will understand these are people, French Islamists, these are Sudanese Islamists or Chadian Islamists. That's why you see them padlocking. But for them, as they have padlocked their mouth, they step into their far land. We will unlock those padlock. Sooner or later, most of them we will reveal them to the world. If they have come to destroy our place, we have warned them that this time is not 20, it's not 1967 to 1970. These generations of Biafra, we are determined to restore Biafra. In any way, we can do that. And in any way, we can make sure insecurity. Because we are fighting for you people, Biafra. We are fighting for our people. We are not fighting for any other person. 
So uh, if, if our heart bleeds when we see our people being suffered, being humiliated, or being, you know, kidnapped, we know kidnapping is not a new business in Nigeria. It's not a new business in that uh, geographical uh, space. But with IPOB and with the cooperation of our people, we will make Biafra land a more safer place because those people you are waiting for them to make it will not do it for you. The Nigerian military they are bringing will not do it for you. The Nigerian police will not do it for you. All the people, missionaries, they are not going to bring you any, any peace. We are the one who will protect you. We are the one who will keep the land. We have our purpose. What we are fighting is for freedom. It's not to kill our own people. It is not to destroy our own properties. We know our people suffer to build their houses. We have seen the military coming, set people's houses on fire. You have seen the other one, somebody come, set somebody's house on fire that he dreamt, he, he had a dream. All this rubbish. We don't tolerate them. And we are going to do our best to make sure we curtail the level of crime happening. At least for some time now, some of you are not hearing robbery in Ekulodia, robbery in Asia Junction, in Iliana. It is not easy. It's a very difficult job, I must tell you. I can tell you everything we are doing is by the divine of Chukokikadiyama. It is by the help. Sometimes when we talk, people think we are experts and all these things. But no, it's because we understand the terrain. We understand the game they are playing. And because knowledge is applied through observation, and that's why it makes like looks we are, we, are, we are experts. And I believe we have become experts in this stage. We have become professional. That is how we started on social media. People call us all kind of names. Today, no media house in the world can challenge IPOB media. I can tell you and I can bet you. No media house, call it CNN, BBC, Fox News, any, call any media house in the world will challenge IPOB media. We have the capacity to confront them in and out, globally and anywhere they want it. If you doubt, I will beg them to try. Thank you, Mazi Chinedu. I will stop here so that the interactive will continue. Thank you. There were Mazi, which means in a nutshell, like um, this Monday, Monday sit at home, it is no more IPOB issue. Uh, if uh, it is not. anything that is happening, the government should be responsible. IPOB has. Uh, suspended it right from time. I think I'm right. Yes, yes, Mazi, you're right. Okay, thank you. We move on. Um, now I want you to say something. Maybe you know, in few days' time, today is the third of uh, April. In a few days' time, according to the deadline. Of uh, the uh, uh, Fulani cow boycott. Please, I want you to say something about it because people are also eager to hear something about it. Yeah, Mazi, um, thank you so much for the for the Fulani boycott, cow boycott. Um, seventh is very close. In a couple of days, the HOD we make a pronouncement on the way forward on that but one thing is certain the boycotting of full and cow meat in our land is something we are not going back on it because we know what will be the benefits if we we'll be able to stop the consumption of full and cows in our land it has many benefits. Apart from stopping, um, uh, you know, the flow of our cash, because it's a, it's a very big business for them. That's where they get their money. That's why Mieti Allah is so powerful, because in every cow, there is a tax. There is money being paid to Mieti Allah for the protection of cows. So it's a big business for them. That's why you see wherever any issue happens, Mehdi Allah comes out, they go with the government plate number because it's a very big business for them. 
But with the intelligent report we have, we realize that this couple of this month end, this March month end, many Fulanese have handed over their cows to many of the Igbo cow dealers on a cheaper price. This is an intelligent report we have. Because they know it is coming to effect. They know IPOB do not play. Now, by tomorrow or next, the leadership will go around to strengthen the point. Because we do not want, when we say we stop the Fulani cow meat, we don't want the importation into our land. That is very strange. We don't want more cows coming into our land. But if somebody already has a cow, we are not telling him to kill the cow and throw it away. So that's why I said when HOD come, we are going to strengthen it. But there will be strict, we are going to enforce it. But I want also people to understand this. In this kind of laws, it doesn't happen overnight. It needs awareness we, because sometimes somebody wants to eat the meat. He will tell you, we need to understand at the moment that they start, we continue to educate our people. For example, look at the, you see how God is uh, miraculous. You see the one of the video that happened recently. The full animal, man, you know, you know, the, you know, bestility, you know, with the with the animal. Yes, having sex with the animal, yes. Having sex, yeah. Let me put it that way so that people can understand. Having sex with the animal is open. They don't even imagine. Do you understand me? These are. the people after having sex with the animal they are practicing this facility they will they, they may found some of our ladies in the farm they will wrap them also the same full any guys and they will wrap the them also transmit all kind of disease people there is a in in Imo state there was a mother people were looking for how many days now they say he went to the farm and nobody has heard from him just as we want to start this program they found out that the woman is already she has been murdered in the farm she has been murdered in the farm her dead body now is found in the farm this is what is happening this is things that are happening so there is a need to stop the full and cows into our land we do not want to see them we do not want to see them. You know, one thing with our people is this. The politicians, all these people, IPOB have spoken. They won't take it serious. When they will start seeing us implementing those things, now you see them coming up. They are taking it for a joke. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Some of them will bring their nonsense ideas. They are this thing they will tell you. Uh, you see this, you see that. But I will leave it for the HOD because he will make a pronouncement on the way forward that the rule maintains. But we are not going to specify our mode of operation on the air so that if enemies want to hijack it to start to use it to cause on them, we can easily dictate who they are. So our modus operandi can never be discussed in the public or on the radio in case somebody wants to ask us how are we going to do it why will you do this no because the moment you explain our strategies which is not perfect then you will see criminals the governors you know that we want to say oh IPOB have come again but what we are doing is for the benefit of our people and i have never seen any of them condemn it's very difficult you see them condemning this act these things the full army people are doing they will never condemn it this is a social illness that they're supposed to condemn but none of them will talk about it even the traditional rulers nobody will talk about it the priests in the church they won't talk about it none of them will talk about it but we are taking that responsibility and i know we will get it right at the end of the day thank you Marcia. there we go. now before i open the line also in a few days time our leader Marcia Mandekano, will be coming to court or will be appearing in the court, please. What do you have to say about it? Because many ears want to listen about it. Maze, on 8th of April, any day our leader goes to court, we always expect, we are always hopeful that he's getting closer to his unconditional release. 
We are expecting nothing on that day than unconditional release of Mazen Namdekano. Um, I will advise our people. We heard that there is a holiday from 8th of uh, April till uh, 20 something of April, I think 24th or 25th of April for the Easter break. Um, the Barrister Jofa have said it's not going to affect it. So let us all be hopeful that it's not going to affect it. But we have our ways already um, to honor the, the, the court case of our leader, which is that day will always be a seat at home. So as, tomorrow, after his normal weekly visit, maybe the leadership or the HOD will come up with his um, uh, plans on um, the way forward. But before that time, there are no changes on our way we do our outings to the court. We encourage our people, as you are going to this particular court case, have you gotten your traditional wares? Have you gotten your Isiago? Isiago. All the people from every part of the Afra land, you can go with your own attire. It's very, very important. Go with your traditional attire. It speaks volume. It speaks volume. Let the world understand because they are trying to hide. Like you see, one of them was saying, one of them is it premium that's saying that Isiago is an IPOD uniform. That's to show you how shallow minded they are. Either is to try to tag so that people won't be wearing Ishiago because since IPO they came into existence, our people, our traditional dressing have gone global once again. This was a dressing that people don't want to wear. Before now. I I remember one time I, I'm I brought up the um, Ishiago to give to a pastor he wanted the wife said no 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 this is here i look at her ignorance i look at her stupidity i didn't have something to tell her because these are people who have lost their tribe born in the yoruba land they understanding me they told her everything bad about it. sometimes there are people that they are being excommunicated from the village sometimes they are the people that behave in this way but we are encouraging everybody if you are going to the court on that day wear your traditional clothes that is our symbol and then we pray that on that day the judgment will be in our favor we are always hopeful that our leader is going to have his freedom but i cannot tell you this is what is going to happen in the court that day but with how things are going we are hoping our leader will be released on that day but if that day he didn't get his release we continue to fight because we know his freedom is very close thank you Mazi. There one man is teaching us on one I think um, this is where I'm going to stop so that I we go into a few minutes break and when I come back I will then open the line so that people will call in and ask their questions. Please don't go away. <laughs> From 7th. From 7th. From 7th. April 2022. The selling and eating of Nama, also known as cow meat, is forbidden in Biafra land. Be warned. From 7th. From 7th. From 7th. April 2022. The selling and eating of Nama, also known as cow meat, is forbidden in Biafra land. Be warned.
anybody not following anything that DOS says goes, anybody not following orders from TK, dossier from DOS, you will be removed from IPOB and sanctioned appropriately. You know, before we remove you without knowing where you are, this time around we will catch you before we remove you. Anything DOS says is what goes. This room UK is heading our reconciliation committee. If he calls you on the phone, you must listen to him and do as he says. He is our deputy head of directorate of state, led by Mazichike, those young, they are the highest decision-making body in IPOB. If that thing is difficult, then I'll refer it to me. Do you understand? Anything, they have, if they call you on the phone, you don't return their call or your being strong head, I will then believe that the zoo has brought you over and you'll be dealt with. We run a discipline movement more than anything. We value discipline more than anything else in the world. In IPO, that's the only thing we have. That is, that is we, that we are able to defeat the zoo and destroy the zoo is hinged on one thing, and that is discipline. If you know you cannot work for IPOB, you get that and join the cyber. One day your judgment will come. We'll find out those hiding in Kukunu, those are hiding somewhere near Apite, uh, near Swan, in, in, uh, in the River State, we'll find out of you. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Men Smart, Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra London. And we are live and direct today, being the third day of April 2022, being Sunday. I am here in an interactive session with Maazi China Samworu, one of the members of the Directorate of States of the Indigenous People of Piafra. I will open our lines so that people will call in, but please, before that, let me give out the instructions or the directives. As you will know, many people will like to call in. So you'll be fair. Please, do not be selfish when you are online. That is why I will regret the time. Please, make it as quick as or as brief as possible. Highest four minutes. Today, I think I'll make it four minutes at the maximum. Please. And you go direct to the point. As Mazichina Samuru said, there is no need of tanking. You know, I used to say it in my platform. This praises, praises yeah, it doesn't for it doesn't even mean anything to me. When this praises will sound good, will be you know, will be quality, will be reasonable, is when Biafra is restored. Yeah. But without the restoration of Biafra, what we are doing, no, no need. So, our lines are, our direct line is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. I repeat, direct line, plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight. Six two two four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I repeat WhatsApp and signal line plus six one four zero five. One four two five four seven. I have colors already lined up. Waiting. I will go to the first color on WhatsApp. You have been here for going to three minutes. I'll be monitoring the minutes, please. You have four minutes maximum. Caller on WhatsApp. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mazi Jonathan. Um, this is Mazi Oleka calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Mazi, thank you for your early quincy at this time. 
Uh, this I'm going to give you uh, some information and then I'll ask a question because I was an insider uh, among all the meetings that was held here in the United States of America when our Amazon and the kind of was renditioned back to the to the zoo. Please make it you understand. Possible. Go. Yes, it, yes. It, remember that time when the meeting was called Nelly and Oyibo, they were insisting that Mrs. Nenya must leave the platform. This is a teamwork. This Martin and the guy said, serve the zoo and come back in shame. Nelly, Robert Charles, and Madam Oyibo, it was a teamwork they were called to destroy the HOD and the DOS. That is why they asked that Nenya must be relieved of her duties so that Nelly would take over that aspect of the finance and know you both will take over the aspect of the ESN account but when I found out oh, that their game plan was against the structure which Mazin and the Kano set up I had to delete myself from there what I'm saying now is that every information that Nelly and Oyibo and Rabachas had about what is happening in their land today, about the killings, about the fake ESN people that are in their land, what Simon Epa is doing in their land. Oyibo, Rabachas, and Nelly, they knew everything that is happening in Biafra land and those who are being killed, and they know where they are sending the money to. All the money we contributed here. And another I have to tell you is this. Uh, B. Agency and this our brother, America and our brother in Ontario. These people know exactly how much we realize in all the fundraising held in America here. That is the money they are using to attack our people at home. And thank God now that Oliver will be an agency have realized that what they the road they are going is not the right road, and then they have retraced their step because that funding has automatically stopped. Nelly is in tears now. Simon Epa is in tears now. They cannot raise any fund to carry out these evil activities in Jaffa land again. Their ESN, fake ESN uh, boys are going to disappear as, 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 as soon as possible because they cannot fund it. And what I want to advise my, my master chinas and world, if only will be and they just said they are repented because I know they were spared. They said they are repented. But they have all the information with the uh, uh, North Carolina Cal coordinator Azubike Azubike is the uh, uh, he is the uh, moderator in all the four reasons Azubike has all the financial report how much we collected how much was raised in all the four reasons they are using now to attack our own people they should they should open up if they cannot open up and now and tell us what they did what they did with uh, uh, Madame Ojibo and Nelly and uh, about church they cannot tell they are waiting for Mazin and the to come out before they will speak up if they cannot speak up now they are still part of the problem we are having. Only will be an agency, and these are brother in, in Ontario. They have to come out. They are part of the plan. They have to expose Nelly Ojibo and Rabacha to exonerate themselves from this evil act. That is what I'm telling you, people now. And I know with time, uh, God will reveal other other others who are hidden under the carpet. But I thank God. That uh, for reason has gone to the to the evil believer. They cannot nearly is shouting and crying because they cannot do any for it in the USA. All the fake Umada and all the money, the way what they say that they are repentant Umada. Let them come out and speak out what they had, the, what the plan they had with Nelly and Ojibo and Rabachas and the e fake ESN account. If they cannot do it, we should we continue to hold them responsible for about what is happening in Biafra land today. Thank you, my, thank you, Tina and for all the work you are doing. Thank you, for DOS. Thank you, the HOD. My name again is Olega from Atlanta, Georgia. I was an insider. Thank you. There were. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Mazi Chinasa, I think you have him, right? Yes, Mazi. Okay. Yeah, I had him. Um, th move. thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi Oleka. Thank you so much. We know with time, the truth will surely prevail. Okay. Okay. All we are doing is just to protect this movement. There must be people. Everybody, you know, they believe that everybody in Biafra land or every Igbo man is a, is a sellout. People that you can fling some numbers of papers of dollars to them, they will not. Mazinam Dekanu, he knew 
he knew there are men who cannot be shaken with you know fund money or this and uh, i can say that is why he left this movement in his absence we are able to handle it we know the evil these people have committed in our land one thing people don't understand it is so evil and nearly that the contract was given these are the two people who received the contract from the evil politicians other people they are using uh, they are using those people you know to achieve those things because i know from the time onyendu immediately onyendu was rendition that is when they started to recommend it's nearly that normally they know her she's the one that normally call people all of a sudden she's ipod recovery this thing she now jumped into the esn he want to control them he want to we we even we i want to say something and i'm continuing to say it from 23rd of august 23rd of august 2021 or whatever they call her they were able to support this movement at that for only two months Onyendu was renditioned. We he arrived in Nigeria, I think, on twenty something of uh, June, twenty eight or twenty nine. Say it's already June and July was the only time we are getting to nine months. June and July was the only time that woman released money, not even the the things we need. But because Onyendu was in the hands of the Nigerian government, that was the time she released money. Only that two months. From that time till today, there is no money somebody have given to ESN or anybody have given from USA. I am saying it, if anybody said since that time till now that there is money that have moved from USA to ESA, let the person tell me. The, the other time we tried to make a request one of them there they use it as a black man as if you are paying Chinasa. they don't know I, I will say it also something here this leadership this dos is running this movement without money is by the grace of chukoki kadiyama i know how much mazin namde kano spend i mean on my own knowledge i don't know about all that things he does but i know from my own source things i know he spent in millions of naira today he's not here we don't have that money nobody gives it to you and the, some of them thought that we will come to lick their ass for money but chupo kikadiyama is our strength it is that's why i believe this this movement is divine this is a movement run by millions of naira today when you beg people they start talking rubbish they come on they make fundraising they raise money they are talking all bullshit something they don't know something they don't know we pray Mazen Namdekano will come out he will come out and I will challenge anybody nothing will be nothing will be said in secret if you know the one because i used to ask them i said come out and say this is what china samuru did this is what chike dozim did this is what Mazizumike did don't say they are criminals they, okay because we know every man the only abuse you can give to a man is he's a criminal you can call a woman you're a prostitute these are the only biggest insult you can give people for a man you tell him you're a criminal for a woman, you tell me you're a prostitute. If you say China Sawaru is a criminal, China Sawaru, come and say what specifically I did. It's very simple. Come and say specifically, China Sawaru, you did this, you did that, you did this. Leave black men, because your black man holds no water. One thing I will promise our people and our brother that has spoken just now. We are not going to disappoint anybody. Even with hundred dollar, we will run this movement, and nothing will happen. Thank you, Mazi. There were. Thank you very much. Um, I have a caller on signal. Caller on signal, you have been there. Please welcome to the program. 
please go straight to the point yeah Mazi, jonathan thank you so much for picking my call let you go carry my bless you um just as you said um, i want to go straight to the point but before i proceed uh, i would just like to say um a very big thanks to my brother Mazi Chenata for your good work Bia France, reverence your work and uh, when Bia France comes uh, to go to you do what you're supposed to do for the hard work you have done even in this critical time um it's the same this year and this, that is why i'm here my name is Mazia Kat. i'm calling from austria by the special grace of Tuko Kabiyama, I am the IPOB Austrian National PRO. Please uh, allow me to make this important announcement, then we'll still be on the background, keep on listening to this gospel. Fellow Bia France lovers of freedom, IPOB Austria is calling us once again to join us in ESN fundraising that is going to take place on 9th of April, 2022. The time is 4 p.m. Austrian time. This fundraising has been approved by the Office of Mazi Chief Edozium, HOD. And we are calling every lovers of freedom, please, to join us on 9th of April for this ESN fundraising. Our guest of honor on that day is Mazi Nzurumike, Deputy HOD. Mazi Abanyi, European Rep, Madam Nenianya, Head of Finance. Chief host is IPOB Austria. National Coordinator Mazi Nam Jongumbel. Chief Launcher Mazi Roland Mabweze Okwara. Moderator of the other on that night of April is Mazi Biafran Child Wachineke and Mazi Mweke. And also, we are calling every IPOB members here in Austria to make sure that you download your zoom media chat and make sure you get yourself ready on that particular day please if you have viral please write the zoom meeting id down the zoom meeting id is eight two eight two six six seven five four zero four i repeat zoom meeting id eight two eight two six six seven five four zero four passcode esn passcode ESN and we have also IPOB Austria ESN fundraising contact number. You can also contact us with this train number. I will make us to announce it very fast. The first number is plus four three six six zero nine six four seven five one one. Second number is plus four three six six zero nine five six eight nine zero five. The last number is plus four three eight one two zero two one one zero seven six please you can contact us in, with this number on that night of april and as you join us that day may say chukwe kabiyama bless you and your household please this last one very quick is for ipob austria members here in austria we are calling on all our brothers and sisters our Amazonia brothers and also Odudua brothers and sisters to join us on night on 6th of april we are having a protest here IPOB Austria inviting you to join and demonstrate for freedom and immediate release of our leader Mazin Namdi Kano, who was subjected to an extraordinary rendition by the Kenya and Nigeria through British government. The most release him unconditionally. He is a prisoner of conscience. He has committed no crime. Please, the venue of this uh, um, uh, protest is Kenya Embassy and also United Nations quarter here in Austria. And the uh, address is Donor City Strasse number no. 6, 22 District, Vienna. I repeat the address Donor City Strasse number no. 6, 22 District, Vienna. And the time is 10 a.m. in the morning. Please, all Donor coordinators, make haste to make sure that all our members are heading to Vienna on 6th of April because our leader Mazin Namdekan will be appearing in court on 8th of April. We must let the Austrian government know that these DSS are still holding our leader in that they are done judge must release him because he's a prisoner of conscience. Mazi, thank you for giving me this opportunity yeah, while we keep on listening on this Halo platform. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, I have a caller also. Mazi Anayo, can you hear me, please? 
with this place, Diana, and time Ma, is Anna, 10 a.m. in the morning. And you, please Diana. all donate for the network. Make, Anna, day, make sure that all Anna, our members Anna. are here. Mazi, why not? I have a Monday, call on oh, what's up? That I've been there. Call on what's up, please. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. There, we welcome to the program. Yeah, they are friends all over the world. God bless you. I'm Mazi, and Almighty God bring him out. It's not a letter for him to finish the show we are giving to him. The name of your way, show I pray. Mas, today is for question of, of uh, contribution. Did you listen right from time? This is interactive session. Questions, mostly. Okay. Okay. So, um, please, my question today is this. You know, before um anambra state uh, election the leader of wahanese and uh, all the otulesia in the eastern region promised us to just uh, cool down that after election they will go to abuja and bring out our leader and but since then till now after the election we have given them the benefit of doubt even the nigeria government we are giving them the benefit of doubt but they are not they have no intention of bringing our leader out even the otulesia in eastern region they have even forgotten about that what they are talking now is 2023 no one is talking of our leader anymore so my question is this coming court of our leader if uh, the zoo government fail again to lose our leader because we are following them in their court according to their law for nearly one year now our leader is there and they have not that uh, they have not given any excuse why they kept our leader there so if they fail to bring him out now what should we do difference to bring our leader out and when should we do that because if you do the same thing one million years you will get the same result one million years we have been following them gently for nearly one year now and are we are getting the same result you ask question now you answer why not ask the no i'm asking i'm asking what should we do different now like changing gear thank you thank you yes well uh, you know if you are climbing a hill with heavy load maybe you are driving mm -hmm. and you see that this load is too heavy and this year uh, you cannot climb this hill you have to change maybe Mas, we have understood your question no need when you ask and you try to also answer yourself well it doesn't make any sense ask the question leave it and expect the answer. Maazi Chinasa, hope you had him. Yeah, Maazi, thank you so much. Am I coming out clear? You are, you are coming out clear. Hello, Maazi. Yes, you Yeah, Maazi, but yes. am I coming out clear? Yes, yes, you are. Go on. Hello, Mazi. My good. Okay. Okay. Go on. okay. Go on, go on, go on, go on. You are. <laughs> it's because of many calls that I have showed you, even calling from the same. Mazi, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. No. Go on, please. Your voice was coming out. Okay. Go on. okay. Okay, but it's it's okay now, right? Yeah, go on, go on. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, Maz, I want to answer that our brother that just asked a question. I don't know that I because the network was not very, I mean, very clear. But I, I, where I anyone I jump, you can remind me. But I understand that he's asking that um, the leaders, the people, you know, Igbo politicians said after the election they will go for Nyendu issue 
I don't know if it was made officially where he knows it because you know many informations goes on social media. One thing is this: it would be unfair for us to deny that there are no elderly statesmen who are intervening on this issue of Mazen and the Kano. It will be unfair if we say that. It will also be unfair if we say they are not doing anything. It is it's going to be unfair. But there is something our people don't understand about the case of Mazen Namdekano. The case of Mazen Namdekano, he's a prisoner of conscience. Mazen Namdekano is not in detention because he sold, uh, he did one business and the money did not, uh, or he ate their money. Mazen Namdekano is not in the prison in detention because he was former a politician they gave him a contract he could not fulfill it Mazen Namdekano is not there because he have a personal issue with anybody this is an issue of two nations Biafra and Nigeria Mazen Namdekano is in detention because he represents Biafra they went and spent millions of dollars to, to, to extradite, uh, no, to extraordinary rendition him, kidnap him to Nigeria because he's talking about their friends having their own freedom. I want to let our people know because this is the question some of them either ignorantly or intentionally always come to ask. It is a fight. The release of Mazen Namdekano is a battle. It is a process. It is not a one stretch distance because if it is to bail him, somebody can go there and bail him. If it is to do anything, it can be done. We are talking about succession here. Because one thing is this prisons are being made from all fronts. Both from the legal side, they are doing their own job. Those elders who have volunteered themselves to do any talk, they are also doing their own. IPOB is doing their own on ground. IPOB family is doing their own in diaspora. Diplomatic um, missions, messages, the people are lobbying. All these things will contribute to the unconditional release of our leader. Prisoners are being mounted in every embassy, British embassy. We know what they are writing. We know what they are saying. Whether it is in our favor or not in our favor, that there is pressure being mounted in the international community for the unconditional release of our leader. Sometimes when our people come and say, when is Mazen Nandekano coming out? As if Mazen Nandekano is in the police. You go and pay one million naira, you bring him out. It is not in that way. People can tell you that these people, those who have volunteered themselves are making, I can tell you, they are still making the effort. These are old men. They are doing their best. The one they can because of the love they have for our leader and the belief they have for him. We cannot always come to tell you this is the man going for it because tomorrow if they tell you your politician will send people to go and kill him. If we tell you this is the people going to, because many politicians in Igbo land do not want Mazen Namdekano to be out. Many governors do not want him to be out. Most of them veering for one political post or the other do not want him to be out. What we are doing is a game of the mind. And they think in this way. Most of you are supposed to understand, most of them planned this. They were part of this extraordinary rendition. So, if they, they, they are thinking, if they release this guy, that is our duty. We know it is a fight between light and darkness. And let us say that we are doing everything possible. Some people will come to tell you, uh, what did you do for Mazen and the cannot to come out? That is one of the most stupid questions anybody can ask. When he's seeing what is happening on ground, when he's seeing there is tension everywhere on ground because of the illegal rendition and because of his illegal detention, 
Are you not seeing the pressure in Biafra land? Are you not seeing the pressure in Nigeria? Are you not seeing what is happening? Are you not seeing that the, the center can no more hold because they are holding Mazen Nandekano? Are you not seeing the whole tension in the East? Is it not because of Mazen Nandekano? So sometimes it is this, it is, uh, if on 7th, I have answered it, if on 8th, they refuse to release Mazen Nandekano, the pressure will continue. We will intensify what we want to do. We are, we are not going to make it public. Because many of you are listening to this radio. When we say we are going to do this, the one minute you give the enemy signal, we don't behave like the infiltrators who come on radio and give a school. No. This movement. will import people for you to kill if you want to kill we need to use our brain and we are not ready to give you expo because at the early stage when this thing happened the leadership in order to carry people along we in order to explain to people what we are doing we were being sabotaged we were being betrayed we were open we tried to explain things to you we tried we went to the people in america we explained things what we know and what we don't know thinking we are explaining to humans we don't know we're explaining to to to, to do you understand me that they use it to turn against us we didn't know they were the people that sold mazen nam they tried to hear from us they planted some people inside the DOS to understand every move we did, and today we have crushed all of them. It's a potacuisi and a bupia directly. The people who said that he said that we don't care. In this movement, some want to do as they like. You won't do that. I think in the couple of months now, some people think that they were untouchable in IPU. Today they know that they are not untouchable. Many of them, and in the coming week, there are the remnants still remain. We will flush them out. Be prepared. We will flush you out. Nobody knows you. Are, you nobody knows you even in IPOB. We remove you and we go forward. So, my brother, what we expect from you is that when IPOB release a press release, go and share it. Man pressure, tweet. That is the one you can do. Most of you that talk sometimes, if you go to your timeline, you hardly post anything about this struggle. You hardly. Most of you come and talk. Some of you travel to Nigeria at your leisure. You buy tickets tomorrow, you go to Nigeria. But some of us that cannot, we cannot move. So remember that we cannot move. We have restrained ourselves because we are fighting a war with one of the most i mean uh, uh, modest nation you can think of we are doing something and we don't need to come on the radio to shout it the most important thing is those things instruction that we are giving if we tell you this person is expelled he says Talk with him let's move forward if we tell you we do this, tweet this, do like this, there is a reason. If a more powerful release, a press release, we shared it, we expect you to share, tweet them. It have an impact. The world is listening. The world is seeing what is happening. Asorok is not sleeping. Every day, every now and then, they receive calls. When are you leaving this man? You must re release this man. And those are the things. Other things are things we are not going to explain to you. But in any way, by crook or by enemies, Mazen Nandekano will regain his freedom. He will. This is a guarantee. They have no choice. They know what is about to befall them. They're telling them, these people, do you see this IPOD you are seeing? They are ready to do anything. 
They know we don't have guns, but we are ready to go to war. They know. They know we are ready to sacrifice the last thing we have. They know. Don't think Nigeria government, they don't know. The moment they arrested our leader, they test the pulse. They understand. They know. If they did not know how IPOB leadership works, how determined, how radical the leadership is, they would have by now killed Mazen Nandekan. They know that anything happens to Mazen Nandekan, they know in the next 50 years, the story, our children, children, our great grandchildren will be talking about why you killed that man. Thank you, Mazen. There yeah, were. There will. I have a caller. I have callers that are yeah, Mazia Nayo. Can you hear me now? Mazi Anayo, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. There will. please go on. I can hear you. Yes, please go on, go on, go on, go on. The whole world is listening. Go on. You have four minutes. Go on. Okay, because Ian Chole Joe Joe that I know where one comment you make here about Eva Malugo. This is Ndo Sabotua, Nda John Mado, and was the Emo Prize and Abia Flanland of Ndo that gets off our leader and our IPOB. Ndo Kuna Malugo Befano and I condom my day great stop from Dubai in the name of ESN no more, anything or not. Kedi yo ju e se na ya na na enye ha two weeks ka si e ba ho kwa or two weeks in bo ka ha change another strategy ko e ba na mota go e we ikinya ipop treatment it si lu pa ni pa cho ka ri e da mi nye kwa because no i want no why i na no new zoo a ye ha na eme and don everybody know na the plan na na fair clear na this people our ipop and yes, and I am a Megan Aquafi and Yambu ES. Yes, and I have been in Zugo, is in Yambu ES. A problem I talk about these people can carry the power two weeks. They behind on ambulance in the by a Zufori. Eh, will he care? Capo see who in those people? Eh, because I need grow wing and now come out of some people are going to go into this evil things are name because as you don't know that I'm going to be a genius one one yeah 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 and I do we see you in the food you can't go on one on one ever matter what they're better for now no it was easy now what you know here now what you know for you know these people see for go up and go see a car you joy for the thank you on them the woman say now yo there were Mazi Chinasa in New York. Yeah, Mazana, there were. Um, you know, these issues. Why I say two weeks? You know, after we gather a lot of intelligence, we realize most of these boys sometimes they are from the same community. They are, for example, the people in our mama. These are boys from the same community. They put themselves together, block the road. If cars are passing, they say, you're spoiling their road, you're doing this, you pay them. But when people, some people confront them, they say, we are under ESN. Now, we are talking about sometimes some people are ignorant of what they are doing. Sometimes our people don't know the gravity of impersonation. Sometimes some of them don't know that that name they are calling ESN, that people are using it committing more bigger crime for them. We have delivered our message to them. They are youth, like the particular people I say we gave them two weeks and I warm them. Two weeks is much. We have told them to leave as soon as they can. But we said two weeks because it's like our head told him when he gives you 72 hours. He will give a grace period like two weeks. After that, the heaven will get loose. One thing we have given them an automaton, but we say two weeks. One is that um, we those particular group I'm saying they are not going to rob people, but they are causing hardship for the people in their community. They say they are ESN, and the community will be saying, "How can ESN be taxing us?" They go to the market from their grandmothers from people they say this is tax from ESN 
I can tell you, if we have established our nation or anywhere in the world, people will agree with me that nobody will kill them. I think you know that. We are not saying go and kill them. But we found out that this, some of our jobless youth, we asked them to go and find something to do. Stop being a nuisance in your own community. You stay there to collect 5,000. Collect 2,000. Any, any construction, uh, trucks, all these things passing that area. What we are saying, it is not good and do not use. If your community said that they want their vigilante, their boys to do this thing, let it be from your community, but not with the name of IPOD or ESN. Because they know people fear these people. People do fear ESN and do respect IPOD. These things are bringing bad name. Maze, for those who are using gun into kidnapping, stealing, <laughs> we don't have, we, we're just talking for people to understand. We have no message. Since we have decided to go after them, we don't give them any time. A bubble, it just happened. And we are looking for them. We must clean them. So if anybody loves what we are doing, it is time to support IPOD, support ESA. You know, it is not a difficult, it's a very difficult job. A very difficult one. People are hungry, they go into criminality and they tell you it is ESA. You know our people are good in, you know, they can imitate and they can bastardize anything just for the sake to make money. Thank you, Marcy. There we go. I have a caller that has been there for 20 minutes. Caller on signal. Welcome to the program. Please, you have just four minutes maximum to make your point to ask your questions Mas, go on please caller on signal can you hear me i can hear you good evening there we go. please go on good evening good evening yeah thank you very much Marzi Chinasa. good evening from here um, madam let me just put it to a question of contribution somehow the uh, last time when you were uh, here, I Please talked about yourself for the world to hear. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Sorry, my name is Semi Chris. I'm calling from Italy, Mazi. Um, last time here when you came on, uh, Mazi Chinasa, we talked about what I uh, asked, what are you people doing to curtail the killing in Emo state, particularly within between our Mamari and the Atta. And uh, I, those that, that time that we are burning house last two weeks, two last two weeks after they killed one of my cousin brother, and yesterday they killed somebody in our woman yesterday, particularly one one only one duly boy in the family was killed by Ibubago. And I don't know whether you are aware that they said this Ibubago was a, in our East headquarters local government headquarters that is people operating themselves as a bubago that is where they are are you aware of this that this number one question is the hierarchy of our people are aware of these people using the bubago to kill our people their location and where they are then another one is that is there anything this question has been come before but i haven't seen any reaction or any other thing coming out upon this when our leader was making brokers and when he was uh, on stage, somebody suggested we should have a program before this COVID-19, one million match in USA. And it seems that COVID-19 stopped that. Then we, somebody also suggested that if we cannot do it in USA, let us do it in Switzerland, one million match. This period of where we are demanding for the release of our leader, is it something vibrant for we to, Continue this a uh, uh, one million march. Is there anything leadership are doing for this one million march to take place at this period? Thank you very much. And that's my question. There we go, Thank you. Mazi China over to you. Yeah, Mazi, thank you so much. You said your name is Emmy Chris. Um your number one question is if we are aware what the people in the bag um Mazi and their situations. I mean their we are aware and that's yeah i i i i make, I make when i was talking here when i was talking here i told you about how people they were being sponsored one of our commander from that also oru was oru also area commander was killed 
because he decoded the people that they are paying to make sure they bomb people houses pointing hands at IPOV homes we are aware but one thing I have to tell you is this if, if this kind of issue is happening we make sure we carry out our investigation very thoroughly because our people can deceive you also our people can bring in information we we take the information down to the grassroots we use our intel officers to work to reconfirm from multiple source because ipo we found out at home there are many things that happen if you go to watch in that video that i posted because of things that we know you yourself may not know we have thousands of reports on a daily basis we filter them we reconfirm them we try to know how true is these things is it somebody trying to blackmail one another is it trying to just set up somebody all these things we put them into consideration like i told you before before we didn't want to tamper so much on the security of the state you know trying to battle these things our purpose was to face our real enemies the Fulani hates men, but it has come to a point. IPOB name and ESN name is mentioned on a daily basis in Imo State. And I can tell you, we are aware of this issue and we are working. Working in the sense that we will decode them as long as they are killing our people. We have made this, we have drawn this line. ESN, IPOB and Ebubago. We are not going in any way. I mean, we are going in a two parallel ways. If a Bubago, the crime a Bubago have committed against our people, I am telling you, we are not going to spare any one of them when they come at, when we come across them. But one thing is this: most of them, the Bubago is just a name. Most of them are missionaries. So I want us to be always specific. They will tell you a bubago, but where is the bubago? Where are they? These are missionaries, but they use that name because they can't call them a bubago. That is why we are also asking our people, they sit at home, the people, the infiltrators use there to cause. Had they been they are not going to commit crimes. You know our people now in your job. They now learn, okay, on these days, people are at home, we can go to kidnap somebody. They came for a weekend, we can go to do this. This become rampant. But we have started handling them, and we are handling them very cautiously. One thing is this, I can promise you, in a couple of days, couple of as time goes, you will find that there will be a big progress. Already there is progress we are making. You will find that the tension around this area a couple of months back is no more the same. Because we will not come to the air to praise ourselves, but we are making sure we will crush all those infiltrators, their agents, they are being used to give us a bad name. Every section that we identify this kind of people, my brother, we always go against them. Secondly, the question you asked about one million match, I can tell you something, but I don't want to go far. Um, uh, those things you are talking, the leadership is already working on it. About the one million match. But I don't want to talk because tomorrow now, by the time I just talk here, tomorrow some reference and the social media entertainers will go to say they are calling for this they will say this they will work on that we have our strategy and it is something if it goes through but we are having some you know issues because you know the problem happening in europe now between russia and ukraine if those things will allow to make such a mega because you know it's also about succession in, in ukraine the donetsk and the uh, it's about you know and you see all those people in that Iranian block if we can get that permission i think we already plan we are ahead of you for what you are thinking this thing you have think now is already in plan and the people that are working on it are doing it you know um there are people working on it already a couple of months back and if it goes through 
make sure you are part not to say it i will like italy to confirm if anytime we call for that we want to see you because you ask this question is very very important it is something that worth implementing if we are implementing it i hope that the day that protest will be called that you amy chris will be there not to be at the backside after you tell us you give us advice we want people when you bring advice make sure you are part of that thing that you said thank you so much man in order to bottle this like i have one inbox right now concerning this question i say uh, we should ask uh, our brother whether he ever attends a rally that is outside his domain like there is a rally that is going to take place in belgium in Brussels in in the next few days on wednesday you know so as you said not only asking question but uh, to be example that is what the one of the inboxes i received there are rallies that uh, will be going on or that have been going on even in the uk one in belgium on wednesday in holland in uh, austria so if we can be able to make ourselves available it is also good um i have a color not even a color i have colors miles the calls are flowing in like water honestly please call us on what's up and signal hold on color on direct line can you hear me call on direct line my goodness me color on direct line color on direct miles the calls are flowing in like water honestly Please call us on WhatsApp and signal. Hold on. Call her on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. My goodness me. Call her on direct line. Call her on direct line. Miles, the calls are flowing in like water. Honestly. Please call us on WhatsApp and signal. Hold on. Call her on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. My goodness me. Call her on direct line. Call on direct Miles, the calls are flowing in like water, honestly. Please call us on WhatsApp and signal. Hold on. Call her on direct line. Hold on. Call her on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. My goodness me. Call her on direct line. Call her on direct line. Miles, the calls are flowing in like water, honestly. Please call us on WhatsApp and signal. Hold on. Call her on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. My goodness me. Call her on direct line. Call her on direct line. Miles, the calls are flowing in like water, honestly. Please call us on WhatsApp and signal. Hold on. Call her on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. My goodness me. Call her on. Call on direct line. and they will be able to advise him on but because we are not putting we are because of what they have done us in america some of them we are not we are not going to And they will be able to advise him on but because we are not putting we are because of what they have done us in america some of them we are not we are not going to tell you go to this account we will make sure that any fund you are giving for esn goes to the right channel not not those if you put money in the account hey here i go you understanding me they won't they won't even want you to talk down to blackmail you thank you my brother there will thank you I have a caller that has been here since 30 minutes on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, well, thank you for holding on. Awesome. Good 
doubt to God. Then God and I'll say that because of that uh, doubt, that that uh, miracle will come, but he will not see it. So, uh, the struggle of uh, Biafra and the coming of uh, Mazen and the Kano has been the prayer of Phil and Iboma since we were born. We have been praying after talking about the uh, Nigerian problem and how it is affecting us. You will find out that we we'll always say this is only God that will bring somebody that will fight for us. And now, Mazen man, the Kano has come. And I'm telling you that the wonder work, this, the kind of work this man has done, like myself that is talking to you, I'm very, very exposed. As in, there is no nothing as in, I'm very, very, the, the kind of gain that I've gained from this and Kano and I, you giving you Mazen, 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 I'm telling you that I'm over, I'm over. So if it's what money can buy, you see that we can't pay. Telling us not to thank you people is like, uh, as in, telling us not to, as in, we can't, st we must thank you people, especially Mazi China Samuru. It is not easy to be in that position, whether in all these uh, uh, eras and all these, uh, uh, I don't even know what to call them, but let me not go to that area. So what I want to tell Biafran, I will not even question you people. I will not, I don't have questions. Since I've been in this struggle since 2012, I've learned to follow. I don't want to question. All I know that you people that have come, you people that have struggled and make this struggle to this very, very extent. It is God that have set you people and the God that have started this very, very good work will bring you, will bring you to accomplishment with you people. So I don't know how to question. All I just know is how to follow. Whatever I don't understand, I just keep quiet. As a matter of, as time goes on, I will just see the result and the answer in my face. So you will find out that the of Mazen and the Kano and all of this shenanigans that have been happening. You see that it have elevated our struggle. Now the whole world, even the ones that have kept quiet, let them keep keeping quiet. The time they will want to talk, we will use toilet roll to block our ears. I say God, may God bless you people. Mazi uh, uh, Jonathan, Chineru, uh, Mazi Jonathan. The knowledge is that you have. God will increase it in one billion fools because you are no you are not using it for yourself alone. You are using it for all mankind, and we are we are getting it, and it's filling our stomach. Do you know that some days I come back in stressful, just listening to your program, I sleep happily. I just sleep like a baby. So, Mazen man, the kind of God will bless him where he is. He's strong because I know he's not of himself. God have already taken over all over him. He is no longer, and I want our people to focus, to stop talking, and to say, stop saying that Bikke uh, Wabara, I would do Abara, Mazen Man the Kano, I want to make a call. As we do, Chukwu Zironya on and on at this very struggle with all the and God will continue doing his marvelous work in our life. Thank you, sir. There, well, thank you very much. We are in 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 this together. I want to bring in one of us, my. My comrade, my co-presenter, radio presenter, I want to bring in my co-presenter, Marzi Jacob. Um, I think he said he wants to say something. Please, go on, please. The whole world is listening to you, Marzi Jacob. Okay. Marzi, thank you very much. I greet all of you now. Uh, my name is Marzi. Jacob, I'm a governor by tribe, I'm from Nassau State, and uh, I've been following this program since the beginning till now. And uh, this program can make me to understand things that I need to understand. And the China has own rule, today you have killed the whole show. You have you have restored completely hope of my follower because there are some questions when my follower, they follow what they will know me, they ask me. I tell them say, no worry. Today, those questions can't come to this show today. They will clear the whole question, they will clear. And again, if you don't feel if you call, listen, at the end of the day, some will be saying, you know, if you read. Yeah. Before now, 
I've been getting inbox from my from my message that ah, uh, Mas is a couple. What I want to ask you, someone will ask him, and uh, they have cleared their mind, they have cleared their doubt, and then uh, if you somebody come to say ah, what kind to come out on weekly basis, so that no come 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 out once in a while, no, then those uh, those infiltrators, they always be on the media, they always be in the media, put you confusion here and there, put you confusion here and there, here and there. But say, but I say today, they are okay. They are comfortable with iPod. They are comfortable com comfortable with DOS. They are comfortable with uh, China as know Apart from all this uh, la la against you and all that, say today they have played their mind. So uh, because of them, I said, I will call in. Then and that their question had the answer. Their voice. Question: No one if you ask, no one if you ask me. What the feel they ask, people don't ask. They are okay with it. So as much as I just call. Put their voice and clean their mind. Cheers, all. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mars Jacob. There were. That is the voice. Thank you, Mars. Thank you. Thank you. Center Mars Jacob Embassy uh, of a gun tribe, a gun in Nasarawa. I think some are uh, in even Taraba. Uh, some of the uh, tribe, you know, the divide. You know, Nigeria is a miniature. Nigerian states are created the uh, just like Berlin Conference, the creation. Thank you very much. I have a caller on signal. Caller on signal. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mark. Please, Mark, go, go, go straight to the point. You have four minutes maximum. Go on, please. Mark, uh, before I proceed, that hand will the very. I'm calling from my location. Uh, Mazi, ordinary, I never wanted to call in. I just wanted to stay on the background and listen, you know. But something prompted me to call in. And I must say it, I'm not happy about this. It's about the way our people sometimes react to issues, the way we behave. We keep on doing one thing. By saying this, I'm referring to some of our callers. Our brothers in the Nabuna phone. When you call, you ask questions. But there is a reason why the HOD provided an inquiry line. You know, for you to deliver that your question through that channel, off air, it will make more sense. Rather, you come in to me. Some question will come up here on air to ask. Is an attack on the leadership. It's attack on the leadership. If you understand what freedom fighting is all about, what are you asking uh, our Mahajitina Sanguru to explain to you? This this is what they have been doing to our leader, when you do. If you listen to his program, they will ask and ask, and this man will explain until explain on things going on. You know, it will be the tutor of Bank, it is the issue Sometimes let's limit the way we ask questions. It's called interactive session, but I come now and I'm seeing a question and answer. People are asking questions. If you're a supporter, good. Keep supporting what we are doing. Our like our uh, man, as he said earlier before he started, he said, with the play in the show. Don't pretend now. I get met you at once, all stage by stage. Don't forget that we are also fighting people who are also making, have their own defense and they are fighting back. They are not just relaxing. You come here, you ask questions, make your contribution to the data channel provided for you. We are under chain of command. This is part of the instruction. You don't come on air and attack yourself in the name you're asking questions. This is the reason why I called and I believe that from this we will learn. Thank you, Martin. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Like our leader said, Ndibaye Dika Ozuma Beke. Just like Nketa. Eto po Nketa Nya. Akoro. Ige Gusinya. Our people need to be carried. You know, every inch of the way. That is why, according to the testimony of uh, Colonel Madiebo, he's still alive. He said during the war,
a matter, you know, it's causing difficulties anyway. But this is, we must accept it. That is who we are. You know, that is why we are here all the time trying to also explain to our people and educate ourselves on issues. I have a caller, caller on direct line. Please call us that are holding on on WhatsApp and Signal. Hold on, because callers on direct line, I won't keep them because they are paying. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. Caller on direct line. Please, are you there? My goodness. me! What happened? Okay, let me go to the caller or callers on signal and what's up caller on what's up thank you for holding on can you hear me call on what's up loud and clear loud and clear please go on go on yeah good evening for your fans all over the world uh, my name remains elon naya i'm calling from uh, south africa um my question is uh, uh to mazi china samuel um, he have touched a little bit about uh, on seven uh, concerning the Fulani cow burning in our country, in our land. Um, I believe that you say that uh, is uh, is the work of our HOD to, to announce and the other things he has about it. But um, uh, my question is this: uh, uh, You know, our enemies are on the ground. You know, this is another opportunity they are waiting for. Her. We have heard them many times about this seventh uh, uh, of April. Seventh of April. Let me see what they will do. And we have seen that a lot of time um, they are always taking advantage. Whatever IPOB are doing, most especially when times of ESN, uh, other things we are doing, they always like to take advantage of that. Uh, my, uh, you know, some questions we are normally asked. We need to, we, some of them we know, but you know, our people, we are always waiting for them to. to, to every time to explain everything to them or us let me say us let me include myself to explain explain everything to us you remember when you were saying when biafra comes we will be uh, studying like a biafra uh, university i said what is university we must start like from takara first because we, we always waiting for teaching to tell us tell us tell us like kids so uh, my question is this when this uh, on seventh i believe that the uh, uh, the leadership has the instruction how they will do it, how they will announce it, uh, people not to be taking the law into their hands so because a lot of evil ones, they are enemies, they are waiting to take the law, he's saying that somebody is wearing a suit having a, a share for one dollar uh, send them message to go and destroy people's things in the name of ESN or IPOB leaderships. Please I want you to uh, introduce people and tell them more about how it gonna be i thank you so much thank you but um you answered the question in the beginning you said I <laughs> you said the uh, uh, uh you quoted Asamoru when you said that our hod will come up to make pronouncement on it and you had him say that the details the real details is not going to be revealed on air mostly so i think <laughs> there is no need of putting it or pushing it so that you know it will be revealed you know yeah, I, think, I don't think there is any need for it unless Mas, are you here no Mas, i'm here Mas, like you just answered him i have said it the hod will come i'm not going to comment more on it like he said for people they equip the enemies not to take you know like we said sit at home others hijack it even people who are not in an ipo they are taking it we are not going to we are we, we you know these problems as the more we face them the more we found a better way to handle them i will still leave it for hod to steal the day he will speak he will clarify more on how it's going to be carried out thank you there what I have a caller on signal. Caller on signal, welcome to the program. Please, 
introduce yourself and you have four minutes at the maximum caller on signal can you hear me hello yes welcome to the greetings Mazi jonathan Dewo. my name is Mazi achebe paul calling from italy Dewo. And, uh, Dewo, i want to i don't have much to say i just want to call on this program to tender my unreserved apology to the leadership of ipob in general and the to ipob members and the dear friends all over the world for my previous brokers against the leadership and uh, and uh, which uh, caused uh, many damages and uh, other things to so, and i see that uh, what i did is uh, is very wrong because i supposed to be among the people that supposed to be protecting the structure that Mazi left so but i failed in some in many of the areas to do so so on my own i think uh, it's very wrong and uh, i think it's very it's right for me to call and apologize for the role i play in the absence of Mazi and the camp and i will not wait until he comes out before i do so so i decide to call in since uh, this program is an interactive section so i decide to call in and uh, tender my apology to the leadership leadership of ipob and to their friends all over the world thank you very so, much Marzi. Uh, paul Marzi Chinasa, do you want to say anything as you still on yeah, Mazi, Mazi Paul Achebe, um, thank you so much. I will thank you because it's not everybody has these balls of to course. come out and uh, and apologize when they have done wrong. It's not it's not everybody because one of the biggest problem we Igbo Biafrans. Let me talk about Igbo Biafrans. Nib is to say I am sorry when they have done something wrong. I really recommend. I really commend you for standing up coming up on radio biafra to tender i hope that um members of uh, the dos that they are listening for those who are not listening your message will be communicated to them and uh, for biafrans worldwide he has apologized but i'm not going to make any decision because the leadership is there but one thing i know definitely know is that when somebody stand up in this way to come up and apologize and understand there are some shortcomings there are you know areas he have threaded that are not right i think it's a very very bold step and i will continue to tell you in any position you have found yourself since you have returned back continue to preach the gospel for the restoration of their friends their friends will also see that you have turned a, 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 I mean, a new leaf, and they will also say, "Yes, you have proven to the public or proven to the world that indeed you are a changed person." Thank you so much, Mazi. There we Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mazi Paul Achebe. I have a caller also on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? up caller on what's up welcome to the program can you hear me I mean, Mazi Bulimalugo calling from United Arab Emirates, Dubai. Um, Mazi Jonathan Chinedu. Um, John, 
sound is uh, uh, this uh, night of morning here from my side is what about that national anthem that uh, the leadership POB give order that uh, all school in Biafra land must start to be um, singing our national anthem because Zoo national anthem is a taboo. It's a All school in Biafra land must start to be um, singing our national anthem because Zoo national anthem is a taboo. It's a All school in Biafra land must start to be um, singing. our national anthem because zoo national anthem is a taboo it's an all school in biafra land must start to be um singing our national anthem because zoo national anthem is a taboo um, um our singing national anthem. our national anthem. because because zoo national zoo anthem national anthem is a taboo, is a taboo. It's an All school in Biafra land must start to be um, singing our national singing our national anthem because Zoo national anthem is a taboo. It's an They have this, a sports but lady who did not have a call on my chat to exonerate themselves yeah, from this evil act. That is what I'm telling you people now. And I know with time, uh, God will reveal other, other, others. Who anthem. Because Zoo National Anthem is a taboo. It's a And if he back ESN account, if they cannot do it, we should we continue to hold them responsible by, by what is happening in Biafra land today. Thank you, my, thank you, Tina and for all the work you are doing. Thank you, our DOS. Thank you, the HOD. My name again is Olega from Atlanta, Georgia. I was an insider. Thank you. There were. There were. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Mazi I think you have him, right? Yes, Mazin. Okay. Yeah, I heard you. Um, thank you, Mazin. Thank you, Mazin. Thank you, Mazin. Start to be um, singing our national anthem because Zoo national anthem is a taboo. It's an all school in Biafra land must start to be um, singing our national anthem because Zoo national anthem is a taboo. It's an
classrooms, in schools and colleges, in high institutions, and everywhere that Biafra flag is supposed to be. And our people, we know indeed, there was a time when they were told to start singing the national anthem. Thank you, Mazi. There were Mazi. I have a caller on WhatsApp. I have callers on direct line, but I don't need to keep them. I'm just waiting when the line is free. But if the line is free, very funny, the calling callers on direct line will stop. <laughs> that is one thing I find very, very, you know, ironical. Caller on oh, direct sure. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the program. Please go on. Please go on. Call on direct line. Please go on. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Um, I have a caller on WhatsApp. Uh, caller on WhatsApp. Yeah. <laughs> caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Are you, you know, you know, thank you because we're going to. Mazi, good English. Good English. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I found the place. Good English, sir. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is uh, Chile Chil Dung. I'm calling from the Zoo Capital. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mazi, I want to thank our brother, our Mazi, the Chief Commander, the great one. So I want to say to him, welcome to the program today. So Mazi, my question to our chief commander is this. He said um, only a while that school and people have started optioning their cows to our people in the Afra land so that they will go away based on the deadline that is given to them. Now, as they are optioning the cows to our people, does it mean that our people will still sell them? Remember, we are saying that we are going to use a feeble to begin whatever we are going to do, to give to our people, to do ceremonies of all kinds. Now, these ones that they are auctioning to our people, is it still going to be part of the cow or feeble we are talking about? So, that is what I want to ask. Thank because we may not know the reason why they are auctioning it today and whether they are, if they are poisoning them or whatever they are doing. So that's my question. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Mazi, um, Chinasa um, Moro. Mazi, thank you so much for your question. Um, uh, the issue of poisoning the cows is out of question apart from the sex they normally have with the animal. If they poison the cow now, the cow will die. He won't live uh, forever. One thing is this, Mazi. I want everybody to understand how sanctions, because this is sanction, a ban, a ban. It's, it's happening in our presence, unless we are not taking, um, uh, we are not understanding. It's happening in our presence how Russia is being banned, how they are finding alternate ways, how they will open the gas or they will not open the gas. As you say, continue. I say economic sanction. That is true. Economic, thank you. Economic sanctions. We are not doing anything different from the way sanctions are being banned. For example, if these people are selling their cow 150,000 naira to our people, they sell it, they cash their money in their pocket, they take it all. Now, with the sanction, with what we have seen with intelligence reports on ground, that they are already since March handing over the cows at a cheaper rate to our people. Now, they might not have opportunity to bring in again. Are you understanding me? They may have no opportunity to bring in more cows again. Now, when they don't have more opportunity, anyone that is already there, we encourage them because there will be monitoring team that will be watching these things and when those people we found out there is something wrong they will get the message immediately now one thing you have to know sanctions don't just be an automatic something 
There are, but you have put the sanction. You are not changing it. Automatic result. No, it doesn't come that way. This is for most of you who will come. For example, Europe sanction Russia for their gas or for other things. So Russia say we close our gas. You pay us in rebels. You understand me? Everything they are doing will bring advantage. It is for the interests of the other. And gradually, gradually, for example, Russia is banned from using SWIFT. They quickly turn to Chinese this thing. They are banned from using MasterCard and all this thing. They turn to Union Pay. These things are when economic sanctions happen. We understand most times. There was a time Nigeria themselves banned Turkey. People bringing Turkey from Kotonou inside Nigeria. There was a time along the line when you start implementing it in a short time you start to see the results Our people must understand those things that what we are doing is economic ban because There are there are reasons for that if you allow fully continue to build their cows inside our land they, they are not to have ranches they have they said they will never leave the old way of carrying the cows traveling from one place to another which gives them the opportunity to kill people and do you know rape our people destroy our farm crops now when we are saying that we are burning their cows we expect not their cows to enter our land but the ones that are already there people have already bought it's just like now they say that is going to ban rice people will go and buy some rice now and load in their in their houses some people will go and buy and stock and after that it is a long process the moment that date is we are not expecting more cows to enter biafra land every entrance point into biafra land will be checked and we will make sure no cows are being imported into biafra land we now start to deal with the ones we have inside and the monitor people when that one they are seeing there is no importation coming inside the land people will now turn up to more other alternatives to suck for source of protein and that is what we are saying that's why i say her children will come and the radio will pick up these programs and discuss it because it's not something one day is over no we must understand the ideology the brain behind it and what we we, we intend to achieve thank you Marzi. Yeah, well, Marzi, and for the information of everybody even i myself have taken it i will be discussing it making it a topic on my subsequent uh, radio programs uh, so that our people will understand what it means you know just as you said you know many things is either out of over enthusiasm or ignorance that uh, everything our people wants to see the result now 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 if after that 70 they say oh we see a what are you doing why is it they want everything to vanish that day <laughs> you know uh the zeal is there anyway but uh, we need to have understandings of many things thank you very much i have a color i have a color that has been there um let me on what's up but let me check whether i can pick calls on direct Ma 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 Jonathan, can i can i still say something on that yeah please on go. just this issue you said now yeah go yeah please. you know you know when we talk about these cows we, we 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 when you're teaching about these things we have to know is this our tradition with cows for celebration for this thing when at what point did we started do you understand me it must be cow that is one thing i know in my place before it was good if somebody died a do you understand me the, the, it was good at what point did we start celebrating cows people want to do burial you must bring cows. what we are saying you don't need to bring cows because one thing is this you, you want to show off you bring the cows and after the person you brought 50 cows 10 cows he called one aboki aboki told him and maybe you bought those cows at 200,000 naira you bought those cows 200 250 you come and give to somebody then after his celebration he want to resell the cows one aboki is also down waiting for him to resell the car you tell him oh, the market no deal 
cow no they no market today you understand me is going to sell them maybe at 80 80000 just as a wholesale price to take all look at how we are deceiving ourselves we know our people are pompous people fly. they want to show off where there is no need you come you want everybody to see your cow there are ways you want to see even if you take the rope and bring it say he will you add the money you add the money to the people the money will be of more value than buying the cows to show people we need to just on some of these behaviors that we just want to show off with cow they bring 50 cows and so what they bring 100 cows and so what now they're moving from the cows they throw money in a poor environment because everybody want to show off these things are destroying our society it is a social illness that we need to call it doesn't matter how long it's going to take tell us take us but one thing we have started the process and i am very very sure with the awareness and education in the next six months we can be able to take a record and say indeed we banned the cow six months ago and this is the result we are getting thank you Mazi. thank you Mazi. about tracing what you said there is one phrase you made like showing off in a poor environment you know <laughs> it's a very deep phrase deep statement but many people might not understand i could remember when somebody um what is his name again a uh, billionaire yeah, you know he buried his mother with a uh, whether how many if not up to thousand cows uh, but a uh, very disgusting sight i saw in a video where the skeleton of those killed cows skeleton you see crowd of people crowd going there to scavenge and you know to scavenge meat any slightest meat of the skeleton and it is being videoed if uh, people see it how would they feel normal reasonable people oh you are very you you you, you know you did your the funeral of your mother or your father with uh, two thousand cows you are the highest you are the billionaire but you check uh, the environment look at how people were scavenging for just a piece of meat from the skeletons of the skeletons you know it, it makes, it makes, it makes, it makes you know you know one disgusting. disgraceful Mazi, you know one disgraceful thing our people are doing this time around is this overhyping, you know, or hyping everything. For example, you are talking about this guy. We, I think time we reach, we will call them out because they are showing a very bad example to the youth. That is not really who we are. They are not showing anything. I mean, uh, I, I mean anything exemplary because. They are teaching false life, livelihood. Fake, so the people, life, fake life. You are talking fake lives. Fake from Obi Kubana to all of them. Those kind of attitude. You drink a Pepsi in the flight. You show to the people. These things are fake life you are showing to the masses. And these are also driving the rate of crime in the society. I think people should caution them. We are not going to say with the bet. People need to educate them because maybe they don't know. Mazi, you can't tell me in a community there is no electricity. There is no light. There is no good road. And you are coming. You didn't build a good house for your family. But because your parents died, you come and in six months you build the house. And now you are coming. Now you are coming. As you are coming there, you bring your friends with Rolls Royce, with all kind of things. In a village where there is no drinking water. In a village where there is no electricity. And you come there. You can see the poor environment. You can see how poor our people are. And now it's not like years back. There is social media. Somebody is transmitting it around the world. And you are showing a flex that you have this. But look at the environment. Poverty is written everywhere. You throw money. You pursue people with fake friends. Friends will gather. This will bring one million. This will bring two million. 
you gather and they come and spray through the money people thought this is life there is no life these are fake lives these are fake the young people children that are in the school they are thinking life is in this way it is not reality when they throw the money in the morning they will count everybody money and return them back what are you doing to the society you go for a birthday party you throw him bundles of money and you know you are just deceiving the public they throw the money in the evening they count your money they return it back for you what rubbish are we creating what rubbish are we creating can we look at our environment and look at other places around the world are we really do you understand me among the best we are not even among a, the, a, a country of 200 million they say 90 million people are poor you know what it means extremely poor poor extremely poor and they are telling you that inside this 200 million only 30 million or 40 million has a job have a job in 200 million only 40 or 30 million have a job 90 million are poor what are we doing who are you deceiving who are you making friends trying to bring 100 cows 200 cows to the to to, to, to a burial ceremony i mean the stupidity is uh, in abundance Marzi, thank you Marzi. Marzi, it is honestly these are things that is a process anyway because uh, people don't understand what this fake life is causing you know the increase in ritual killings the increase in uh, people trying to do anything to make money because once people are doing this the younger ones innocently they want to become like you they want to spend money spray money like you so even they never even finish secondary school but they want to get money so these are things that because of lack of government in nigeria because uh, you know nigeria there is no government there is no control so you know our people once we in a bad place we become we take first we carry first in that worst situation if we are in a good situation in a good system also we take the best we become the best so that is who we are but we continue uh, doing what we are doing because this is these are the reasons why we need to get out of nigeria otherwise our people will be destroyed completely as a race you see how the the almajiri the the houses are turned into almajiri it's not a one-day job uh, before they know that they, they are now helpless in that system that is the way if we continue in nigeria in this without control anybody does anything come and spread money do the buy because you can do it oh only your house is a mansion in the village of come outside and people stream you see darkness everywhere and you are happy about it this is why we need biafra please okay i will take about two more calls and finish up caller on what's up welcome to the uh, the program please you have Four minutes at the minimum, at the maximum. Okay, Ma, uh, Mazi Jonathan, uh, good evening from uh, New York. There we go. My name is Mazi. These are uh, the reasons I appreciate your why program. we need. To yeah, take. my question goes this way. You know, there are some of uh, indigenous uh, people doing that uh, cow business, and I've seen uh, husband and wife and uh, those people they are ebos i saw them in a facebook where they are saying that they are being into this their family they inherit this business they are graduates and they inherit this business from their family so my question to our maze uh, lion china saworo is uh, are we going to ban all those uh, our indigenous people that have such business because i know fulani does not create this cow maybe this cow came from somewhere or are we banning anything that look like a fulani cow that is my first question and my second question then i will round up and wait for the answer is that those people that is keep using yes send using phone every then 
that money going to our e ESN or they are just eating that money or you know vandalizing or duping people in the name of ESN and if such if they are duping people in the name of ESN what did HOD have to do about it because IPOB is a registered organization that is uh, stolen by uh, by force or force pretense prete so that is my two question thank you very much and I wait for the answer yeah, well, thank you very much. Marzi, yeah, Marzi, thank you so much for your questions. Um, let me take the first one. That's why here I've been trying to explain to our people the ban of the car will not be automatic like how some of them are thinking about it. We are putting into consideration our people who have those cows there are our people doing that business and we know we know them even now we know them we know their capacity what they are doing and for six months ago which we have been we are not telling them don't do cow business if they have opportunity to import cow from brazil from argentina from south africa they, they can do that but fully cows the fully business the Fulani Leeti Allah pushing, we know them. We are not going to give them that chance. It is better they start shifting their business, looking source of meat from other side. If you go to Ambazonia, our neighboring countries, they have also a feeble, the same species. They can easily move towards that side and be important because they have. I'm also using this opportunity to tell them they can make new exploits because we must deal with our neighbors. But full and cows, we know full and cows. We know them very, very well. And uh, we will make sure it is better we import because you remember it's because of these cows they ban our people, make stockfish to become, they stop us from eating stockfish, importing stockfish the way it's supposed to be that they, they continue bringing importing cows because they stop us because they know we are people who love that stockfish after the war because i know our people started stockfish during the war and after the war people really i mean it's a delicious uh, food also i mean fish our people take the test we, 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 the test yeah the test is very delicious now they don't want us to be importing they they want their own sudanese in nigeria does not have cows they are importing these cows from Sudan, from Niger, from Chad, from Central Africa. There are people, they are all moving to us to do business for our people. And we are saying no. Because you come, you will sell, you get more money. Southeast, or let me say, southern part of that contraction is where they make their highest sales of cows in the whole of West Africa. Even in the whole of Africa. The Fulani, their biggest market is the southern part of Nigeria. They tell every Fulani that have cows, they import it from Niger. From now, they have a trend to Niger. They will bring cows from uh, Fulani is in Mali, Fulani is in Burkina Faso. All of them, if you arrive in Niger, you put your cows in the trend down to Nigeria. It is we they are bringing the cows, and we said no, we are not going to accept it. The more they sell, the more they make money, they buy weapons to attack. That's why there is a need to communicate to our people, to educate them that they must look, breed our local cows. You can import also new breeds. Import them. After all, we know Nigeria is importing cows also from outside. They are importing. Nigeria is importing. They are importing cows also from other places. So I don't think anybody can stop us if we want to import cows, I mean foreign cows, to breed them for milk production. They are not the only one who knows about cows. And we go towards goat also. So those are our people who already we know they are dealing in this business, we know. But our problem is that the importation of more cows into our place, that is what we are banning. And we will make sure we ban cows from seven we will make sure cows are not entering into nigeria into 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 southern parts of that contraction which is biafra land we are going to make it is not going to be easy but we are going to control it anything they want we are ready for it 
because this cow have killed us they have done a lot damage in our life with these their cows both spiritually both uh, disease infected animal there is no control there is nothing we have all the points Mazi, do you remember ajinamoto there is one magi they call ajinamoto one white i could remember you know when ajinamoto came in they could not pay bribes for the health this thing they say that ajinamoto is used to wash uh, clothes if you come in the whole of this east nobody will eat ajinamoto they say it's a bleach but if you move to the north because i was in the north you will find out that people are using it you understand me it is selling the business was moving there because they try to give it a bad name but this one around we will educate our people we will tell them why we bound this cow and our people for their own future for their own life every day people lose their life because of fulani hesme that is the little they can do to take your source of meat to another i mean there are goats there are there are pigs there are bush meat there are chicken there are fish there are other alternatives no matter anything and there are also veg vegetables there are vegetables that are also source of protein because people will say we need protein of course but upon all the whole meat we are eating how are we looking do we still look like healthy people so it's very important that we continue to educate them those who are doing the business we are not stopping their business but we are asking them to look for other source that fuller needs will not be bringing cows into our place we are stopping it for now then secondly you talk about those who are raising fund for esm Maze, any fund anybody any group of people raising fund for esn and it's not being approved by the hod at least to be aware in any continent you are you are raising fund and the continental rep is not aware or um, uh, the, the your coordinator is not aware you just raise fund in the name of of course we know the criminals are there eloha and her group that they came in it's all about raising fund raising fund we are not seeing the fund all this fund you see they raise apart from some fund they raise countries may raise on their own without making it but you see this public fund they are raising we are not seeing from those Omadaka Omadaka highway in america i don't mean there are people in america who are contributing also supporting but you see those women coming out to tell you we are doing fund we are doing this these are nobody's getting any fund some of them even say no they will raise the fund and keep it if only do come out we give it to him that is bunker and we have seen many of them complaining this one eat 21 million this one eat 15 million this one eat, take the money of fund go and open radio with tony nade you understand me all these things they are all fraudulent people they know them this is their way so the one thing is their highness during the COVID time they were bored in the house through searching they got ipob they hear about their friend. some of them jumping and they have jumped in some of them have made the money they want to make also and on the process that Mazin Nam the Khan is not there, they now got a, a, a free day. Everybody run. The other one came in, he became ESM by force. Everything fake, fake, fake. Even the clothes he wear fake, the tire fake, the house, the artifacts there, everything fake. Fake, everything rubbish. All fraudulent. We know them and we are not shaking they know in their next world wherever they hear about this leadership they will run it is not a, we are not boasting we not tell them is in a runoka how many let them eat money because we know that is what you do come out if they want to it's up to them like i said for a long time this leadership is running this movement without cash it's chuko kikadia without enough cash we beg like kids to make sure that things are moving people don't know what we are going through so for that reason we are not worried because it's not all about money if it is about money we will not be here but we know we are in this hard time we never knew that we can do it and we have done it we have secured this movement to this point and we know if 
Even IPO they become bankrupt today. There are capable men who will run this movement. Even with nothing and make sure we get to that destination. That is what matters so much. The same necessity is the mother of invention. Thank you, Mazi. Well, we are rounding up and uh, bringing one of us also. Mazi Isaiah, can you hear me? Mazi Isaiah, please unmute yourself and make your point because we are rounding up. Mazi Isaiah, can you hear me? You are muted. I don't know. Okay. Let me take this. I uh... can hear you, Maz. Okay, please go on, go on, go on, please go on. We are rounding up. Go on. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Comrade Maz, um, and you, Maz, Jonathan, for the good job you're doing. Uh, my name is Maz Isaiah. I'm reaching you from the Republic of Ireland. And uh, of course, I'm not meant to call in today. Um, but uh, however, it's very important that I uh, call in just to do this brief announcement because it's very, very important in what we are doing. Because I know Biafans are listening and also Biafans here in Ireland and Europe are also listening. And this announcement is going to also be beneficiary to also Biafans in Europe and uh, other part of um, continent so that they will emulate what we are doing here um of course we are not going to retreat we have told them told the enemy and also the nigerian government that uh, regardless how much you hold mazin namdekan it's not going to stop what we are doing we are not going to relent anybody underestimating what we are doing or our commitment in, in this struggle for biafra restoration that person should go and also um, make inquiry about IPOB and those that are in the leadership. So uh, this is why I am doing this announcement for them to know how resilience and how ready we are we are to go any length to make sure that we push the gospel of Biafra to make sure that we engage the people that matters. Even if when they pay no attention to us, we will bring it to their doorstep. This is exactly what we are doing here. This is what exactly Maazichin Asamori is doing. This is what the leadership is doing. This is what principal officers are doing. Those who understand why we are here. Because some people think that joining IPOB is a party. Some people, that's why immediately after the rendition of our leader, you see them fall apart. You know, meaning that uh, the preaching of our leader for nearly 20 years and the uh, establishment of IPOB in the last 10 years, uh, it seems that they, they didn't get into their, uh, into their, into their scores. These are fake people who join IPOB think that it's a franchise. And um, today, the, the struggle have exposed them, many of them who think that um, the IPOB is all about miscreant. We are not miscreant. We are engaging the people that matters. We are engaging the government. We are engaging regardless of what is going on here in Europe. We are still pressing hard to get the attention from the people that matters. Now, why am I saying this? It just the announcement goes to the people in Ireland, their fans in Ireland, and um, you know, just to make it very, very specific. There is a, a census that is going on here in Ireland, and I believe Biafrans, every Biafran in Ireland have received the, the, um, the documents and uh, the form, if you like. And uh, there are provisions there which I have shown the one that we did here already. I have done, my, I've did, I've done that myself. And uh, also the comrades that I know here, many of them have done it. And we are using this opportunity uh, to draw the attention of other Biafrans who may be not aware of this, that there is no harm in it. Uh, just fill in the form, the area that, uh, you know, they ask you about the nationality, which I have uh, published this, the, 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 the sample of it. Mazichan Asamuru also published it. It's all over the place. Uh, people should go to my wall, go to Mazichan Asamuru's wall also, go to our pages. It's all over, it's everywhere. I even see it 
in family writers you see a copy of the one we did already that's a real form that we feel there it's not a screenshot it's a real form that we feel here in ireland just do the same thing remove nigeria in those pages that um if, 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 if that you were asked to put your nationality and you are ethnic just put biafra there and that will help us in what we're doing a lot of biafrans have done it a lot of ipob members have done it because we announced it here in our forums and uh, uh, we also decided i decided to bring it to the public in case those who are not also in our family group uh, so that they will follow what we are doing and uh, this is the only thing some of them can contribute for now because most of them are not um, financially contributing with uh, uh, to the struggle um they are not um, in in biafra land to, to do the needful so the the little one you can do so far now that will not hurt you that will not bite you that will not cause you any stress is this sense that we, is going on here in ireland uh, ireland and the irish government have become so they are so friendly with us uh, we have a cordial relationship we have a very strong tie with the irish government here i can tell you i am not going to you know uh, expose some of the things our relationship with the irish government here and the things that they are doing for biafrans in ireland here uh, but i can tell you that we are in a serious uh, you know uh, 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 engagement with Irish government and um, it will be of good of Biafrans in Ireland here to feel the form of the census that they have um, you know the areas that you were asked to put the nationality put Biafra there is very very important so that will also uh, help to you know um, spread the news and mm -hmm. also put Nigeria in the background everybody knows now that Nigeria is um, have collapsed completely. Nigeria have collapsed. They now notice that Nigeria have collapsed. Even our passenger also. Everybody now is crying. Uh, the Nigerian the center can no longer hold. So it's very important that we also Biafrans here have to, to identify with the name Biafra. Uh, so to help us to achieve what we are pursuing. This is what I wanted to contribute. Uh, this evening and uh, thank you very much for what you're doing and uh, my fellow comrade Mazichan Asangoro keep on the good work Duko Gabiama is your strength thank you and good evening from here yeah, well thank you very much thank you Mazoba thank you thank you thank you so much you are doing great yes the last caller on WhatsApp please unmute yourself last the caller on WhatsApp unmute yourself and have and uh, ask your question because you said you have a very important question. Please, go on. You have four minutes. Okay. Good evening. Can you hear me? The whole world is hearing you, not only me. Okay. Uh, good evening. This is Agu Chukwemeka. I'm calling in regards to, you know, what is happening all over and this uh, IPOB struggle. Because, you know, why things normally happen like this and uh, some people walk away with whatever they committed is because... None of them has been given a, with shows, you know, use one person and show the example so the other people will learn. Uh, like what is currently happening now? Why can't we identify maybe the relationship, the, the house, their family member or what or whatever and show one, one of them example so the others will learn? That's number one question. Number two question is like uh, I was listening this night and uh, somebody came in on radio biafra and apologized for me it's not acceptable because these people they know what they are doing especially that guy he said he's a map as your coupon we want to know that as you he thinks that he knows because he was there when the first thing happened about the forgery of smart not the cardo signature that one he was not convinced they came on radio uh, that uh, they are, they are uh, stupid uh, enter Biafra and announced that the DOS has been dissolved. He was not convinced. They committed a lot of things. He was not convinced. It's only this last one they started shouting you to. Because he, they know that all these people know, have direction. But he was convinced. So none of them, we are not going to accept any each of them apology. Because what they are doing, what they did was deliberate. And we are going to treat them the way they will understand. So that's what I want to say. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, thank you. 
Mazi Chena Samuru, please go on and uh, you make your <laughs> thing short. <laughs> go okay, okay. Um, Mazi Ndewo, I understand the pain in your heart. But one thing I will tell you about visit family we are not the zoo. We have lived in a developed country, we have traveled very wide, IPOB members. Um, 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 you know, when they used to insult Mazze Doze by laugh, this is a very, you know, a very refined gentleman. That IPOB, it is he's a blessing, even Mazze Zurumike and all the members, because these are people who reason beyond the way, you know, many people reason. And then we want to bring, when we talk about Biafra, we are not going to imitate, we are not going to. Um, use those systems Nigerian government used to do I live in a country where if you commit something you will be held responsible not your father not your mother unless you are a teenager you understand me you will be held responsible for whatever you have done the IPOB leadership we are not in support and we will never be in support of when somebody commits something you go and descend on his father sometimes the father is not part of what his father don't know what he's doing we will never support when uh, somebody did something you go you leave him uh, 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 you leave him and you go to catch his son that is the method the zoo are using this is animalistic behavior and the IPOB leadership we are not going to do it because if, it, if he's going to take us for 10 years for 5 years to catch you to get at you we will patiently wait we will follow it up until we catch you so we will not like to advocate and Mazi jonathan we will not like people to come on our radio to advocate that when you did something wrong we know where you are instead for us to go to you we will go looking for your poor father or your poor sister or your poor brother somewhere to harm him we won't do that sometimes this people, for example sometimes these people their parents or their father or their mother are not in support of them sometimes even they will disagree. that is it yeah yeah Yes, yes, they disown them. They're not in support. So we should be able to be reasonable enough to work as professionals. We are talking about a nation, an imagined nation. We need to be very wise. We need, when we take decisions, the world will understand that, yes, indeed, there are people who are reasonable enough, who understands the ethics of, you know, humanity. Now, nobody is there is nobody is unreachable in what we are doing it's only one thing you know some of them are doing one day he's coming so fast in that place that person is broadcasting he will lock that office and run he won't come there again to broadcast in that place that small place they are doing they will not be able to do it again the time is coming Imana, if we plug you, the moment you come inside IPOB is like they plug you on electricity. When you become full, we feel you want to explode. Small, so that you get yourself. So we will not, my brother, on that particular side. But on the side of our brother who comes to apologize, I understand your pain. But one thing is that he have apologized. The apology does not mean now that oh we said he's back and we know the way people they apologize they, he has a family where he belong he will go there it is up to them they will see how do you understand me they can work it out it does not mean we have forgiven yes he have apologized the crime he committed the things he did it's not about china Sawaru. You need to understand that. It's, it's about the different people. It's not even about the leadership of IPOB. So I understand your pain. And I understand what other people will say. The pain, the, 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 the agony they have been to people, the deception. I understand you. But at the end of the day, if the Biafran people say we are leaving him, he have shown it is 
even people, even people, you understanding me, there are people who have committed crimes. At least himself, he was bold enough. There are people they have committed, their words have led to killing of innocent people at home. Their words have caused havoc. We will put everybody into consideration. But one thing is this, it is always good. As a man, if you have done something wrong, stand up and say, I have done something wrong. It solves a lot of problems. It solves a lot of problems. And I will say, we will leave that for now. I hope I have answered your two questions. Other difference will have also their opinion. Your opinion is also highly respected. I'm not saying what you say. This is how you feel. You feel the pain when those things were happening, what they were doing. It is it's, it's unbelievable. But we have passed that stage and we have to continue to move forward on how we can restore our nation make sure we continue to mount the pressure for the all uh, for the unconditional release of our leader but for my parting shots Marzi jonathan my parting shots will be in kind of pronouncement things i want our people to be aware and these pronouncements i want everybody to listen very very well please dear friends once again i want to draw the attention of every dear friend are you a lover of freedom? Are you an IPOB member? Are you friends of Biafra's? If you are in Biafra land and there are issues about Biafra you want to discuss, please do not answer, do not make those calls in your normal telephone line. Please don't say, um, I have a small Nokia. No. The small Nokia have nothing to do with that. As long as you have a SIM given to you, that is where they can track you. That SIM, it doesn't matter the device you are using, that particular SIM, they will use it to track you. They will list it because they gave you that SIM card. They will listen to your conversations. They will be able to track you. Please, I am telling you people, some of you are making great mistakes. You have some things to discuss, you are discussing it on your SIM card, discussing with people, they listen almost, they are listening to every Nigerian government, the Nigerian um, uh, um, DSS, they are listening to a lot of calls of our people, those who are making calls on a normal SIM card. We are in a, in a, in a world of technology. There are places you can make calls without putting yourself into danger. They just want to hear you discussing about this struggle with somebody. They continue listening. And they will, who will they arrest? They can go to arrest one of your friends you don't even know. Maybe you don't discuss this struggle with him. They will go to and arrest him. They will use him to... They will use him to call you so that when you come, they will arrest you. They will look for somebody you are not always familiar calling, talking always, because you won't think that they are they are think that you have anything to do with that person. That is the person they will call. They will look for one of your friends. Maybe they have arrested him in Abba. And maybe you don't know. He will call you from Abba. He tell you, hey, my friend, I'm coming to Anambra. Will you be able to... Uh, I'm entering. You think, oh, this my friend is in Abba now. I don't have anything to discuss with him. Let me see him. Oh, they have arrested him. They are coming with him. Dear friends, you need to be... And when they come, they arrest you. You will be shocked. That is exactly how they are tracking many... Find out that any time they arrest any of our people... They hold them, they are listening to, they take their SIM card, they keep them and they continue to listen for security purposes. There are many apps where you can communicate. We know WhatsApp is compromised. You can speak on signal, voting, line, soft talk. There are many Viber. You can download all these things and use those apps to make your communication. It is very, very important, dear friends. We have to protect ourselves. We are in a war situation where they are adopting our people. They are picking them. Maybe by tomorrow we will publish most of the people they have adopted in this couple of days back. 
young boys they have adopted IPOB members and we don't know where they have taken them from where we track them to the last place we can be able to but what we are saying is that prevention is better than cure then I want to come over to the issue of our radio we do understand that there are people every time they will tell us our radio is not working our radio is not working our radio is not working sometimes the radio is also working in your place but maybe you are not aware the radio is working so one thing i want us to do one thing i want us to do is this after this program we will publish areas that we have our radio stations we are not saying that these areas we are covering them i mean we have coverage in those areas as we have coverages in those areas and those environments presently we have 32 i mean pro, uh, not province areas locations that we have radio biafra and we are expecting that people around these areas supposed to be listening to radio biafra but when the media will publish them if you are not getting radio biafra in that axis quietly inbox any of the media people or come on radio and tell them in this area in this area we are not getting because sometimes the radio is speaking in your area but maybe it's not getting to your axis but for us we have we have a coverage in that area but you are complaining that you are not receiving the radio we, it will help us to be able to know because sometimes somebody is in Omaha, the radio is talking, another person says it's not talking, all these confusions is not helping issues. So we want, and when you tell us the radio is not working, be specific where you are always coming around and you don't hear the radio. But like I have said before, with this coverage with the i think this is the first time we have this wide range of coverage in Biafra line we have a very wide coverage we have a very wide coverage in Biafra line i know that people in Aba before our station in Aba covers the whole of both Ngwa, Obingwa, Isi Alamwa, Tontega Junction but now we don't have that transmitter that have this strength the, the one that is covering is inside the town. It is not covering so wide. I will tell you people, for the fact it's no more reaching your area does not mean that Radio Biafra is not there. We want you to understand that. Like the places I'm mentioning now, we do have coverage. In Omoaya, we have a coverage in Omoaya. We have coverage in Abreba. We have coverage in Item and its environs. When I mean Omaha, we have Radio Biafra coverage in Omaha and it in for us. We have in Abreba and it in for us. We have in Item. We have in Uzakoli, but Uzakoli is down for some time now. For those who are within Uzakoli, Uzakoli radio program, is down. Say, on this program, somebody complained about Item since two months. Item, Bende. He says since two okay. months. Okay. Item, Bende. Yes. They are not having Uzak before Uzak was covering Ethan. Go to Umunato, all this area, but we have a problem with Uzak on the station and we are going to fix it. So we want people to tell us because sometimes you can call somebody and say the radio is working there. Another person tells you it's not working. So we want, we have also in a correct manner and it informs the one in a correct manner supposed to be getting coverages to 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 on the coming down the correct manner road coming to Obingwa axis about like that minute is supposed to be covered but so if you are not getting in that area please you come on radio biafra we have also a station in eket in eket we have a station if it's not working please you can inform us say it's not working and you say the area you are that makes it's not working we have in Uyoman town we have in Calabar Men Town, but the Calabar one is down. It's going to be fixed in coming days. We have also in Acom is down. It's going to be fixed, but sometimes they say it's coming on. It's going. 
we have in Igbo chat. The Igbo chat station is not as powerful as the old one. It's not covering everywhere because the one we have before was covering down to Opopo, down to Bayasa. Everywhere is coming into Abia State. But presently, the one we have there is going a very short, um, uh, covering in short places. Why I'm saying this thing so that people will not say, sometimes we say Igbo chat is talking. When we say Igbo chat is talking, somebody say Igbo chat is not talking. But I'm telling you, it might not reach where, just let us know if we need to bring other stations closer, we will bring them and make sure you are getting the network. We have an MDC, we have a station in MDC, we have a station in Mbano, we have an Idato South, we have an Idato North, we have an Njaba, we have an Mba Isi Alamba Axis, you're supposed to be receiving, we have an Nsoka, Nsoka is down for some time, Enugu is also is coming up and uh, we want to make sure we upgrade the the, the coverage in Enugu. Um, uh, Oposi is also working. We have a station in Oposi. We have Mpo is covering sometimes too many reports coming from Mpo. Sometimes they say it's working. Sometimes they say it's not working. We want people, when you do this report, report them you know normal talk tell on the radio Biafra. we will hear if you say this area is not working tell us don't tell us completely it's not working because other people will say it's working sometimes uh, where you are they say it's not working but if you are always in the car radio Biafra, because the, the the frequency in the radios are very powerful and original they are receiving they are receiving radio we have a non chat we have in enugu in omonia in also we have radio station in our haji we have uromi we have enaugo we have sapele bayasa auchi abamentan anoka if your area we did not mention in the couple of this particular month our radio will be speaking in many places in the in the deep in the cross river in the obudu Obubura area the radio will come on on those areas so that people will not say but i'm telling you we do not have in those areas but sooner our radio will be speaking on those areas but dear friends i want every one of you when you can listen to radio Biafra, download radio Biafra app the IPOB community radio, download these apps. It is a low data cost. Buy 500 Naira data, listen important programs. Sometimes we tried our best to circulate the audio of some important brokers. When we send them through WhatsApp, it doesn't cost you anything. Share it around. People can just download it a few minutes and they can be able to listen at their own convenient time. So, and we are asking, there are areas, the radio, Ihiala also, we have in Ihiala, but uh, we have some technical issues. We have also in our and so but in those places will be coming on air shortly. We have our stations in those areas. Ihiala, we have, we have an R&D zone. So, this is the first time IPOB, under this leadership, we have covered more areas in Biafra land than as it was before. People may not be able to see what we are doing, but what we are doing is speaking for itself. We are not asking you, but what we are saying, help us to make this work easier. Do not come to castigate like, oh, it's not working, it's not working. The leadership is doing their best to make sure, even we are providing the least things we don't supposed to provide to make sure that we do is working because the next thing if this radio is not working it is some of you will come you see when Mazin and was not there they could not be able to even radio was not working but this leadership they need to slaughter them they need to kill them but i'm telling you the areas if Mazin and is out tomorrow and he see the areas this leadership have covered almost 32 or 33 areas we have covered with the radio biafra i don't think anybody will not look at it and say indeed you people are making sure that the restoration of biafra is getting to everybody but let me come finally without no fear of anybody or anything on this radio biafra hello platform if you commit any crime in the name of IPOB, we are not going to spare you, like I said here. 
people we will call people their names sometimes we call the names like one of our brother where do we give them if we have gotten a police station if we have restored or even a regional government or we have a places we have secured fully in control some of these people we would have sent them to be judged and we will imprison them it's as simple as that but for the fact that we have not gone to that level we will continue those who can change we change but those who want to graduate from picking pockets to highway robber be assured that you will fall in the hands of IPOB and ESA. Be assured, if you want to terrorize our land, we are not going to leave you. And this evening, I want to call. There are a group of boys in Inlewi. There are a group of boys in Inlewi. I want Inlewi people, Inlewi businessmen, Inlewi people listen very well because certain things are happening in your place. All of you will not rise up and talk. You will only say it is IPOB, it is ESN. They say they are IPOB, they say they are ESN. You don't even make any investigation. You just say they say it's IPOB, they say they are ESN. You carry the noise and you'll be calling IPOB a bad name. Maz, am I coming out clear? Go on, you are, Maz. You are. Yeah, yeah. So they will come. They say it's ESN. There are a group of boys called Agaga Boys in the You stole from his house and burnt his house. I can tell you, you from, from his house and burnt his house. IPOB and ESN. I can tell you from this night, IPOB and ESN have declared you wanted. We are declaring you wanted this night. You went to the house of the Igwe of Ezinifite. You went there, stole a lot of things from that house destroy his homes and people are saying it is ESN and you are not ESN whether you are court boys you say you are agaga boys we will tell you that there is nobody do court for IPOD nobody do agaga for IPOD and ESN and from this night we are asking the ESN command in Anambra to take note of this group of people they call agaga boys and Obin Okeke don't know who we are calling that we need this guy in the next 72 hours anywhere you get him get rid of him or get him and make sure for trying to destroy the home of our people trying to destroy the home of the Igwe and they are saying it is IPOB we are not going to take this we are not going to accept this and we are saying from this now henceforth anywhere we catch you you will pay dearly for this i am not making a threat this is our job to make sure we clean up our land from these enemies and these criminals who have decided to destroy the image of IPOB and tarnish the image of the leader of this great movement also i am going to our mama i do not want to interfere in things the community are doing those group of boys in that place, if you say you are vigilante for the community, please make it known to the community. Do not use the name if we hear again. Because as we have approached you people, you said no, you people are not ESN, that you people are vigilante from the community. You are not ESN. We will accept that. They call you Weja. But you are using the name of ESN in our mama. I'm not going to call your full name. But we will tell you if you go to the market again to extort money from our women, to extort money from our grandmothers who are suffering. If we find you in the market, 
jungle justice will be given to you. I am telling you this time around so that you will understand that criminality cannot be accepted and condoned in our communities, especially by you young men. We are not accepting you to be in your own community, bringing hardship to the women, bringing hardship to the poor widows, bringing hardship to your community. I don't know the kind of drug you are taking. What we are saying is from this night henceforth, they call you wager. I don't want to mention your name because what you are doing is extortion in the name of ESN. I'm not going to say they kill you, but if you continue, because I know the next thing you are from the extortion, one day you will bring out God to threaten them if they don't pay you. Those of you standing along the way collecting money, we are going to approach your traditional rulers and confirm if they say they are not in support of you people staying in the community because we don't want some of you youths to take to hold your your traditional rulers or hold your elders to ransom in the name of that you are vigilante we are not going to accept it you cannot be in your community and become a terror to the people and for that reason we urge you this night to stop the extortion the extortion is what we are fighting against the nigerian police is doing in our land the extortion we know they have brought up all this bad behavior everybody wants to extort anybody everybody he sees on the road you want to extort your brother you want to extort your sister the extortion is what we are fighting against the nigerian police is doing in our land the extortion we know they have brought up all this bad behavior everybody wants to extort anybody everybody he sees on the road you want to extort your brother you want to extort your sister decided to walk but yes and when we have decided to walk we, we don't let them criminal criminals the nigerian police only goes around capture innocent people and tag them ipod and tag them because but yes and we go out there we hunt down the real criminals some of them were bakiari when abakiari was coming to imo state he have a group of team they call abakiari they were having also a camp in imo state in also where they will arrest most of our people with flashy cars take them there detain them in the bush and they were collecting money from them some will pay five million some will pay three million if you don't pay they kill you that is one of the things abakiari did in our land and the, the remnants of that group of abakiari team some of them are still in emo state and we are asking the esn command it is time to flush those teams out of our land because we have come to clean the land from this evil. They will never be in our land and continue to commit all this crime. There is nobody that will do it for us apart from us. All they are doing is to give Mazen Namdekano a bad name. What they are doing is to tarnish the image of Biafra. What they are doing is to tarnish the image of IPOB worldwide. What they are doing is to tarnish the image of IPOB leadership. But we thank Chuko Kikabiyama for giving us the wisdom, for giving us the strength, for giving us the foresight, the knowledge. We have used all this while to, con to contain all this crime that the enemies have faced out around us. Today we can ably proudly and say that we are IPOB, that, whom, that we are whom Mazen Namdekano say we are. He said we are Muchineke. We are ordained for this mission. If we are not ordained, I have never seen how we will fight a nation like Nigeria with empty hands, with our mouths. The power is in our mouths. The spirit of Biafra is in all of us who have stood very firmly for this battle. But one thing I will promise the enemy, this is a fight to finish. And I promise you, you can never win us. We are IPO.
we are trained by Mazen and the Kano. We are they, we, what he deposited in us. It can never be destroyed in this generation, and even in the next coming generations. We must make sure that we transmit, we transfer the knowledge, this ideology, to the next five, six, seven, eight generation to come. That we must continue to fight and stand out. That our enemies we will never be conquered again, like I have they, uh, they have done to us years back. This generation of Biafra, we have come and we have come to make sure we restore Biafra. For those who are thinking we have come to joke, if you ask the Nigerian government, they will tell you that we are not jokers. That those people they call miscreants was a mistake they did. Today, they know we are not miscreants. They know we are warriors. They know we are intelligent people. They know we are smart people. They know that we are the choosing generation who have come to put an end to this contraption called Nigeria. And for that reason, I will say, dear friends and lovers of freedom, wherever you are, this evening we have come to the end of this program. And once again, I will tell you, my name is Mazichina Samoru. Mazichina Samoru is a member of the IPOB Directorate of State. I am from Obingwa. Obingwa is in Aba province. And I will say, Mazichina, thank you so much. There we go, Four. Our leader is Mazinam the Kano, who will be, be going to appear in as a Boja court on the eighth. Uh, we must continue in what we are doing. We have to put more effort in whatever contributions we are making, individually, privately, and it forms a global movement. We are. Thank you for listening. From me, Mars Jonathan, from here, it is simply good evening. <laughs> it's your boy, Don't Bricks.